Say it, and it benefit them in the name of Jesus. Bless you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you so much. See, I want to start on this subject. The spiritual realm is so potent, so loaded with a lot of things that the world itself hasn't understood yet. Most people don't realize that the natural, the things we see, the topography, the geographical obstruction, the mountains and the seas and the blue seas and, and the rivers, uh, all these are simply products or manifestation of a work in the spiritual realm. Uh, the Bible says, so that the things which are seen were things of made which do not appear. In other words, the mountains you see were made of things that do not even appear. That means the mountains are really things and, uh, and the soil and the rocks and the rivers and the seas are simply, hear me clearly, are, are things that were made of a spiritual realm that you can't see, but it's more physical than this. Do not lay for yourselves, mm -hmm. says do not lay for yourselves, mm -hmm. riches in, 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 on earth that can, that moth and rust can touch and corrupt. Mm -hmm. But lay for yourselves, riches in the spiritual realm or in heaven rather. Mm -hmm. What that means is there is a certain place where rust, moth, mm -hmm. find it so complex and so difficult mm -hmm. to consume wow. because of the physicality of it. When we think of the earth, we think the earth is physical, but the spiritual is spiritual. You know, when people hear the word spiritual, they think spirit, you know, spirit. No, 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 no. It's so potent. And if you've ever heard what we call a mara, there is a azol where you can see in the spiritual realm. You can see yourself in the spiritual realm and everyone around you can see. Then there is a mara where you can enter and the spiritual materializes into the natural. Where you can bump into an angel. Wow. Where you actually see an angel and go on the other side. Because it's so physical. Hmm. The reason why Jesus went and walked through walls was not because the war was because he was spirit. No, he went in there, ate fish with them. He was a physical being, resurrected, woke up in his body, left the... And entered a wall with his flesh. The fish he ate, the bread he ate, entered with him. No bones were left on the wall. Physicality entering physicality. So, so some of these things, when we begin to teach them, it's like we've lost our marbles. The reason why... Uh, there, there are prophets out there and there are teachers out there and there are prophets and teachers and evangelists and, and pastors out there who are so uh, 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 really powerful. Uh, I'm talking about people that have a certain level of uh, spiritual acuity that, that, that you, you, you see power oozing out of them. And you wonder why is it a gifting? No, not just a gifting. There is a content of information that they have that they can't reveal to the world. He said, I can't teach you now. Oh, I remember Jesus getting to a, to a place where they were arguing with him and arguing with him. He said, is David Jew? Who is the Messiah to David? And of course, the far to see and the sad said, you see, uh, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Uh, they, they, they got confused. They said, of course, David is, is the father of the Messiah. And he said, why is it that? David in the spirit when he was speaking, he said, I was, the Lord said to my Lord, how is he calling his own son Lord? Oh, yeah. oh. He said, immediately they stopped asking him. He, immediately, he was trying to say, David, you call me, you call me son of David, but David is my son. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, and Jesus is the root of Jesse. Great, great grandfather. Mm -hmm. And David is a great, great grandfather. And Jesus said, They are all my sons. Hey. 
The spiritual is more potent. He's like, you don't understand some few things. Wow. There are things we have allowed you to say, wow. but they are not so. Oh, I don't know if you're getting this. How do we call Jesus the son of God? How are we calling Jesus the son of David? And yet he is refusing to be, he said, you don't understand these things. David himself confessed that I'm his father. He said, I'm his Lord. And you call me son of David. And Jesus would answer back when they say, son of David, have mess on us. Jesus would turn around and have mess on them. <laughs> he knew this one is a fake title. Oh, my God. There are things in this word, I don't want to lie to you. There are things in this word just meant to block your eyes. So that those with revelation can get in and grab. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I know. That if you are not careful, you actually be, things will be hidden from you because you follow the scripture without knowing that scripture is meant for immature people. Then there are higher level of maturity where you can get to and take some few things and say, wait a minute. Now here it is. Here it is. So many of you have had experiences with the dead. It might be in your dream and some might be just walking like this and somewhere in the corner of your, through the corner of your eye, you see somebody who died way back and you can't even tell your pastor because the moment you tell your pastor, the pastor will say it's a demon. I know. So, during this series, I'm going to reveal to you scriptures that tell you it's not possible to speak to the dead. Mm -hmm. Then scriptures that say it's not even conceivable that the dead would know nothing or know anything or feel anything. Uh, then scriptures that tell you you should never consult the dead. All uh, right. Then oppose them again with others that oppose them. Until we come up with what the Bible actually means. And we're going to help each other on this one. Because it's one of the most, like I said, it's one of the most difficult, complex, and a minefield to say the least. <laughs> but God gave me an ability. To demystify mysteries. Explain hard sentences. <laughs> now, I want you to see something here. Are the dead really gone? Are they in heaven and nowhere else or hell and heaven and that's it? They are not here on earth. Are the dead forgotten and they can't feel anything, they can't see anything, and they can't hear nothing? Now, I want to start from science here, or from a scientific perspective. So, my, my, my scientist right there, you got to listen. Let's go. Let's go. We're ready. Ah. Uh, Let's go. Bring it on. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, come on now. You understand if you have ever read or um, heard, rather, my message or watched my message called Before Adam. Mm -hmm. And for those who say, why is he calling it his message? It is mine. Paul calls it my ministry, my gospel. The word gospel, there is good news. This is my gospel. This, this thing here is my gospel, my good news. It's good news to me. If I receive a letter sent to me, it's my letter. These are letters, New Testament are letters. Sent to believers and Christians, letters. So this is my love letter, mine. You know, some things we call humility, it's not really humility, it's pride. Now how can I call it my gospel? It's yours. It's sent to you. It belongs to who? You. So who, who's it? Mine. My gospel. Paul called it my gospel. Then he called it my ministry. <laughs> if he had said it in this day and age, he said, it's not his ministry, it's Jesus' ministry. Paul said mine. Maybe you're better than Paul. Now, I want you to see something here. If you listen to the message called Before Adam, or the Nephilim, or even the Nicolaitans. Mm. Right. You understand that verse 1 and verse 2, there is a gap, and we went through scripture line upon line, precept upon precept. Yeah. A little here and a little there. Oh, and we came up with, understand, with an understanding that there was a gap right there yeah. that tells us there is something called before Adam. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Am I talking? Yes, sir. Now, if we have that, that means we can fit millions of years. That means then the scientists, when they say millions of years, they are not disagreeing with the Bible. I don't know if I'm talking. Am I talking? There is no disagreement there. Now, if that is the case then, distance between planets are measured in, is measured in light years. Mm, I don't know if they're getting this. So if I go to a planet right now that is 65 miles, uh, a million miles away, I repeat, if, I, if there is an alien, scientifically, this is a theory, so you get it. If there is an alien, 65 million light years away, and is right there with the microscope, or a telescope rather, Telescope, looking at you here on earth, ah, they didn't get it. If there is <laughs> an extraterrestrial being in a planet 65 million light years away, using a telescope to check us out on earth, do you know what they will see? They will see dinosaurs. It's impossible for them to see today. Whoa. They also see millions of years away. No, no, they didn't get that. They didn't get that. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And what will be the dinosaurs doing inside using this scientific theory? They will be moving and doing exactly what they were doing before they died. They did not. You are not hearing me. You are not hearing me. Yeah, you are not hearing me. That, that then tells us that the past is not the past. No. It is in blocks of times. Whoa. Times past. Mm. Present. Uh. Future time. Mm -hmm. Those past time is not past. It's a block that has been placed on its own in the past and it's still operating today. Whoa. Now you didn't. You're missing this now. Then the present that we are in is operating and we are in it. Mm -hmm. The future is also operating. If that alien starts moving faster towards Earth, mm -hmm. guess what happens? It will arrive here in the future. Yeah. Oh. Before we get there. <laughs> no wonder aliens are not coming if they are there. Because all they see is they don't see you. They're seeing some dinosaurs. Like, where do we, why do we go there? <laughs> No, you're not, you're still not hearing one. You see, some people are still very, very slow on this one. The Bible says Christ was crucified before the foundation of the world. If Christ was crucified before the foundation of the world, why is he being crucified again? Because it's a block of time called an aeon that God simply lifted from time past before the world was and then juxtapositioned it on top of a generation that appeared 2,000 years ago. Uh -huh. mm, my, my, so, so Christ who died, the, God simply took the block of the past and put it inside, boom, 2,000 years ago. And the people they start seeing Jesus dying, it's just a repeat. Whoa. This is what the Bible says, if you sin and do something that is wrong, you are crucifying him anew. That means you are causing Christ and God, rather, to bring that block of time uh, and put it over your sin. They say, so I, I don't know if you're getting this or not. So if it is possible then that an alien can see an eon can be trans... See, see, the reason why you're watching this now is because my eon and your eon are intersecting. You can't be anywhere else watching anybody. Why? My eon and yours are intersecting. Wow. Mm -hmm. Come on. You can't listen to nobody else because my eon and yours are intersecting. No matter what you hear about me, no matter what lies they say, or no matter what truth they say, if it's in the wrong side of it, you can't even listen. Why? Yeah. We are intersecting. Come on. Come on now. They wonder, why do you keep following? Eons wow. are intersecting. Amen. <laughs> I don't know if you're getting this. Yes, now, if it is so that an alien and extraterrestrial can actually see this world now and see dinosaurs, 
That means the dead are still alive. According to Albert Einstein, <laughs> time cannot be measured. Okay, they didn't get it. What we call time is simply a pathway of time. Time itself, nobody knows what it is. Scientists themselves say they can only measure, look at the passage of time. When you say it's 12 o'clock, it's a passage. No wonder in America right now, it's not, it's not five past one. Mm -hmm. It's another time. Why? Because it's not, time is not standard. <laughs> That's why we can even change time based on light. Yeah, we add two hours now. Ah, wait a minute. If time is time, keep it exactly where it is. Some people, is it difficult? Some people are just like, yeah, so what about this, uh, <laughs> the dead and walking dead? I'm, I'm actually saying it right now. So a lot of people don't understand time because they have never understood science. They think time is simply uh, what they look at a watch and say, yeah, yeah, it's 12 now. It's one past, uh, yeah, it's 10 past one now. No, that's not time. That's the passage of time. Albert Einstein came out of his, I think he was a clerk or something like that, and he came out of the office and just went uh, with his, with, uh, on a, he was on a train and looked back and saw this time, you know, and he like a time square thing with a time thing. And he really imagined that if the train speeds, the watch there loses seconds. Mm. Now, those who understand watches, they understand there is something called tabium. Or rather, it is a case that controls. Mm. You know, it is actually the casing. It's not just the mechanism of it. Mechanism of the casing. And if you ever seen a watch called Richard Mille, there is something that it prevents, G-force. Why? G-force will alter time. So when you move it at fast speed, you lose seconds. And years back, they took a plane and they put a, a watch there and left a watch on the ground and when it traveled faster, it reduced its time. Wow. They were now different to the one on the ground mm. wow. times. Wow. Now, I don't want you to, to think we're talking about science here, but I want you to understand this. If that is the issue now, we realize time does not move in a linear pattern. 12, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No. It is in blocks past Block of the past. Block. Mm. Block of a present. Block of future. That's what the Bible says. The times past. The times present. And the times to come. Age is past. Age is present. The present age, as the Bible says. And the future age or the age to come. Now, if it gives you in blocks, it's telling you the blocks are existing all at the same time. Wow. Why? Because God is the Alpha and Omega, the ones who start by the end before he starts the beginning. Yeah. Now, if God is the beginning and the end, it simply means the earth has entered to God. That's why he's so relaxed. Mm. You know when you know you win the game? Yeah. You, you, know, you, know, you know, it's like whatever you do, beat me up, try to do whatever it is, at the end I'm the winner. Right. Ah, wow. choke me all you want. At the end, I win. Ah! That's right. <laughs> Some people are not getting it. Are they getting it? Yes, are people yes. getting it? All right, now, watch this now. Watch this. So we have a lot of things taking place where people have no understanding that past is still past and it is present. Yes, and it is future. Mm -hmm. Hey! Come on, Come on let's go. So past is past. If past is past and it's still there. <laughs> Do you know the difference between a video camera and a still camera? Simply speed. The video camera simply takes photos in fast, fast motion. Oh, this, people didn't get it. <laughs> 
So the video camera is simply a still camera that is faster. Yes. No wonder if you put frames in one place, I think we used to do that at primary, you know, where you'd put somebody, one drawing in, in but different maybe kicking a ball, but the ball will be there. And then you go flip like this, you see, da, 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 and then it kicks the ball. All these are photos. That's a video now you have. That's exactly what the video camera simply does. It's taking still, 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 still and then fast them forward. That's all it does. That's all the whole concept of it. Now imagine you find an album of your great grandmother in one book. You say, oh, she was so beautiful. Look at her. Oh, we wish we had the video. Then you go, Prrr. Uh -uh, there she is in video format. Come on. Come on, come on. Now, now, the past is exactly like that to God. Okay. Wow. It is in a video format wow. and it is in reality right wow. there. Wow. The future is still also there in reality. He has already seen it. Now, here is your shocker. Mm -hmm. What is this present age to God? Which time scale is it in? Wow. <laughs> I'm asking. No, no, no. Which time scale does God see us in? Since there is past, present, and future. Are we in God's future? Are we in God's present? Are we in God's past? It's past tense, of course. Yet we are operating here. You are hearing me and I'm past tense. Nah, you didn't hear me. I told you we are building blocks right now so that you understand what I'm about to say because what I'm about to say is a complicated issue. This is one of the most Controversial series you ever hear this year. Yeah, true, Dad. <laughs> On Everything you are struggling with, according to God, is in the past. It happened. God created, listen, God created the earth and stepped back and said, I'm finished. It is finished. Whoa. What? So you have seen everything. Yeah, I've seen everything. In fact, this Antichrist will come and get into the, into the church and claim that I'm God, and then they will kill two prophets. He, he, he's not predicting the future. To him, it's done. He saw it happening, he opened the page like, okay, let me see, say, yeah, done. I defeat the devil. Stepped back and said, now act this. Hey. What did Jesus say? He said, I have come to do your will, your will, oh God. In the volume of the book, it is written of me. Hey. In other words, Jesus is confessing that he's coming to act. Whoa. A movie that has already taken place. Wow. Now, if Jesus is acting, a script has already been written and Jesus is still acting it. He healed so that it was written that was written by Elias. That what? So he, he did it, he healed rather, so that he could fulfill what the prophet said. He healed to fulfill. I have kept all you have given me except the son of perdition so that the scripture can be fulfilled. Yeah. Why? Right. Because you know the past and you know the present, you know the future. You step back and sit down and say it is done. And you sit back after seeing it. Wow. Imagine God created Jesus to be crucified and crucified him. In other words, when we say created, yeah, we're talking about Jesus being God, okay? Uh, created himself, rather, mm -hmm. in order and died for the people mm -hmm. before the people sinned. Mm. Why? Because he knew. Genesis, people will sin. He knew, you will sin. And he said, I already have somebody that will fix. The Bible says we have a high priest. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. You're not hearing me now, right? Right. If anyone sins, mm -hmm. let them know we have what? An advocate in the heavenlies. Come on. Wow. So you knew already that there was going to be a sin, and you put an advocate already. Mm -hmm. So you finish this whole syllabus, and you step back. You know this earth is just a, a repeat wow. of what you know. Mm -hmm. wow. So what are we? We are past the tense to God. Now, if we are past the tense to God, who else is past the tense? The dead. So to God is nothing. Everyone is alive. Mm. I don't know if you are getting this. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, Moses Julie on Atom Gram, he said, yes, prophet, we are in God's past. That's why God can say, I knew you before you were born. That's mm. deep. Thank you, sir. Some people are getting it. Some people are getting it. <coughs> in science, we call the, that the Einstein's theory of relativity. Exactly. Thank you, prophet. Now, you see, 
See, when we get to science, we're not trying to prove the Bible using science. We're just trying to show you that everything that we know and we think we uh, brought into the open, there is a story that they say, Albert Einstein was asked, where did you get your theory of relativity? He said from the book of Genesis. And he never told them where. Now, just imagine if we are God's past tense. Mm -hmm. I want to go somewhere here. So that we... Oh, yeah, yeah. Can no monze vendro kuble en kragagus, yes. Now, now, some people say, so, so, prophet, are you saying the dead are here? I'm not saying it. Let me see it. Okay. Hebrews 12. Hebrews 12. I want you to read verse number one and forward. Yes, sir. Verse now watch this, please, and watch this nicely. Don't, 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 don't. Please, listen. Yes, sir. Verse number one. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, Wherefore, seeing we also mm -hmm. are compassed about, we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Now, now I want you to see something here. In fact, Pastor, I want you to read mm -hmm. the Greek version of it. All right? Mm -hmm. The Greek version. All right? Hebrews 12. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, you hear it from him, not from me, because you might think, okay, I fixed, the, I fixed my Bible in a certain way. He, he doesn't even know the verses we are reading. I'm just giving you for the first time, and he's also reading it. Seeing we are cumbersed, what? About. About, mm -hmm. right? Yes, sir. Now, tell me what's point two of the word perikemai, which is about. Notice what the Bible says. It says we are compassed about. Uh -huh. mm, tell mm -hmm. me. To be compassed with, have, mm. have round one. Mm -mm, they didn't get it. In other words, while you are walking, they are around you. Whoa. No, no, no. They didn't, I didn't say they did. Now, the Bible says we have a great cloud of witnesses oh, yeah. sure. round about us, not in heaven opening some window. No, they're about us. Mm -hmm. wow. 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 I know right now you have a problem because it is now contradicting with your theology. So whenever something contradicts with your theology, you don't go for the Bible. You go for your pastor. Stick to the word. Right now, stick to the word. Let's go with the word. Let's go. Now, it says we are what? Let's go. We are compassed We are about. compassed about. We have something around us. Mm -hmm. Not in heaven. Right. Mm -hmm. With so great cloud of witnesses. We have a cloud of witnesses. Uh-huh. Let us lay aside. And the word witness is the word martyrs. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh. Those who died Whoa. for the gospel. It says they are right about us. It's just right there in the Bible. I'm not talking. Listen, you might hate what I'm saying. You might not like it, but it's the Bible now. Preach it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, sir. <laughs> I want you to sing in because some of you are so kind of, uh, as I call, you know, bourgeois or deed saints, stuck up. You know, you never take the Bible like, no, I already know what I am. No, no. Here is Hebrews. Read it if you like. First one. Read it again. Yes, sir. Wherefore, Wherefore seeing we also mm -hmm. are compassed about mm -hmm. with so great a cloud of witnesses. Yes. So great a cloud of witnesses. Huh? Right? Yes, sir. Now, I want you to see something. Read the first four words. Now, I know you missed that. <laughs> I know you just missed it. Come on. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, mm. seeing we also. No, 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 no. It says we also. There's a problem. This is verse 1 telling us also. Ah. But they didn't get it now. If the Bible is telling us also, that means there is something it told us before the also. That's right. But the problem is we are only in verse 1 now. So where is the also? Please don't, don't think too hard. Go to Hebrews 11. <laughs> My curious self thinking. Yes, sir. Isn't it easy? Mm -hmm. I, I don't want you to go further. You know, it's, it's a lot of verses and a lot of verses. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just want you to read verse number one. Okay, of Hebrews 11. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. What's this now? So that you get it. 
please. Imagine verse number 12 says it this way. Some people are still like, what did you just say? I don't understand what you just said. You said, so it's, if it's also we go back. Imagine someone says, oh, yeah, there is also, also, if you are starting with also, yeah. I need to know what are we speaking, what did we say before? Yeah. What are we referencing? Because this is an addition and also is an addition to something. Yet this is verse 1 of chapter number 12. That means we have to go back to chapter 11 to see why. Because it says we also come as about by a great cloud of witnesses. That means there is somebody else who is also canvassing us. Come on, come on. Uh, 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 those ones might be witnesses plus. But they can't be only witnesses because the witnesses are the also. Mm. I have teachers around me also. Who is another one who is not a teacher who is around you? Some people are getting it now. So we have to go back to chapter number 11. Why? Because chapter number 12 only gave us one verse. Trust me, when you get this message, Come on. Aye, yes. you will be so potent you become a threat to the spiritual realm. Woo! You become a threat, you become so, Amen. it's Amen. like you can, you can walk into any area. Yeah. Trust me on this. Oh, Kabbalin yes. Verse yes. number one. Mm -hmm. Now faith. Now faith is the substance of the things substance hoped of for. Things hoped the for. evidence of things not seen. For by it, who? The elders. The elders. Okay. The elders, not the witnesses. All right. Mm -hmm. Verse number four. What happened? By, by faith, faith Abel, Abel did this. Offered unto All right. God. Yep. By, verse number five. By faith, Enoch. So we know was Abel. Translated. We know Enoch is there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse number seven. By faith, Noah. By faith, Noah. God, yes. I don't know. You can keep going and keep going and keep going. And it goes to go to 17. Let's quick, quickly 17. do that. By faith, Abraham. By faith, Abraham. When he was tried, offered up Isaac. Mm -hmm. And he that had received the promises offered up his Verse only begotten 20. son. Verse 20. By faith, Isaac. By faith, Isaac. So we know Isaac is there. Yes, 21. By faith, Jacob. Even Sarah is there too. Yes, uh, 22. By faith, Joseph. Even Joseph. Mm -hmm. First number 23. By faith, Moses. Uh, even brother Moses. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. are, you, are you seeing this or you're not yes, seeing this? Yes, I don't know if you're hearing this. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 I want you to see this. Then we keep on mentioning things and stuff like that. Now go to, to, to 31. And let's quickly do By this. By faith, the hallowed Rahab mm -hmm. perished not with them that believed not mm -hmm. when she had received Even the, the hallowed Rahab is included here. Okay, let's go. Yes, sir. Let's go, quickly. Verse 32. Mm -hmm. And what shall, I, what, what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell mm -hmm. of Gideon and of Barak mm -hmm. and of Samson mm -hmm. and of Jephthah mm -hmm. and of David also and Samuel and of the prophets. And of the prophets. Yes, sir. Okay. Verse, verse 33. Okay. And of Ooh. the prophets. Yes, sir. All right. Mm -hmm. You mean Jonah? Yes. Sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Am I talking to you? On, uh, you mean Amos? Mm -hmm. You mean Hosea? Mm -hmm. You mean Jeremiah? Mm -hmm. You mean Elijah? Mm -hmm. You mean Elisha? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I, I hear you. I hear you. Let's go. You mean Nahum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the prophets too. Mm -hmm. Who through faith subdued kingdoms, uh -huh. wrought righteousness, yes. obtained promises, mm -hmm. stopped the mouths of lions. Mm, are we talking Daniel now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Quenched the violence of fire. Mm -hmm. Escaped the Mishak edge of the sword. Nigo is involved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Out of weakness were made strong. Oh. Mm -hmm. Waxed valiant in fight. Mm -hmm. Turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. 35. Women received their dead, raised to life again. Okay. Even those women that had enough faith, they're also here. Yes, okay, let's go. And others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. And some people were tortured. So we're not talking about the people who only died here by the hands of the enemies. No, let's go. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yea, moreover, of bonds, bonds and, and imprisonment. Prison. 37. They were stoned. They were ah, they Stephen were, is here. They were sown asunder. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're tempted. Mm -hmm. We're slain with the sword. Uh -huh. They wandered about in sheepskins and goat skins. Yeah. And being destitute, afflicted, tormented. Verse, 20, verse 38. Of, of whom, whom the, the world, world was, was not, not worthy. worthy. Hey! There are some guys that walked with God that God said, it's not worth for you to be here. It's too much. It's trouble. <laughs> it's, like, it's like if you are still here. 
is an indictment. No, you didn't hear me now. It's proof you are still worthy here. <laughs> so there, are so, there are some people that reached a certain level. God said, uh-uh. the world I created it for people. You, you are beyond people. Wow. Said so the world was not worthy to put those ones in the category of people that can sit here and, and, and get into a house and eat food and eat for free. And, uh, no, these ones, they couldn't be subjected to this. The world was not worthy. Hmm. Can that be your testimony? Yeah. 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 Huh? Glory. That I know you are here, but you are not worth what you see. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus. May God stand up and give that testimony about you. Amen. Hey. Hallelujah. Glory. You know, he was just walking with God like this one day, and they're going to, they, 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 just going there around Enoch's house, and God said, look, I'm now, I'm now going back to my house. Just take me halfway. <laughs> the guy's walking with him. Walking, the Bible says, and Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. You know, he was not means he just disappeared, poof. The guy is walking like this, and God is like, how are you? Boom. Says, if you go back there, you might kill them. The time of Moses saw Jesus, saw God. All right, when I say Jesus, I try to get these people to understand this Jesus. Uh, when, when, when the time Moses saw Jesus, saw God, put his hand like this to close his eyes so that he couldn't see everything. And he went back to the children of Israel. And the children of Israel said, go back. We can't even, they, they, the light was too much on their face. Said, no, 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 go back to where you were. Mm. Now, Enoch could have exploded human beings mm. the day he left mm. with God. Okay. And God said, if you go back, people, my people will die just by seeing you. Let's go to mine now. You, you're not worth here. Some of you are not getting it. Verse number 39. Verse 39. Mm -hmm. And these all... Oh, which ones? These all, the yes, prophets, mm -hmm. the Sarahs, the Abrahams, mm -hmm. the Daniels, the Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, mm -hmm. the women that received their dead back to life, all these, the Josephs, ah, the Jacobs, all these written here. Mm -hmm. Abel himself. Yes, sir. All these. Let's go. Having obtained a good report through faith, mm. received not the promise. They didn't receive salvation that we receive now. This, this being born again. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. God having provided some better thing for us, uh -huh. that they without us should not be made perfect. So, so without us, they can't be perfect. Now, now, after I have said this in verse number 12, after all this now, uh, uh, we also have others that are around us. No, no, no. They missed it. They missed it. They missed it. I could see it. I could see it. With all this that I've just mentioned, we also have others around us. So what, where are these? Oh, no, 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 no. You, you didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. Are they getting it? Are they getting it? Ah, yeah, yeah, huh? Akulia Chaka Chaka is saying, wow, this is too much. We sometimes say why this person died because he, he has a lot to offer. But to God, he is not worthy to be on this word, <laughs> on this world. Thank you, sir. Now, now, watch this now. Do you understand the difference here? Where we have gone to chapter 12, and we are hearing also. And then we go back to 12, to 11, and we are hearing the numbers of people. Even women are included. That received their, they had faith. Those who were tortured are included. The prophets are included. Then all of a sudden we hear, we also have others around us. Compassed about, meaning to say right about one. Some people are still not understanding what I'm trying to say now. Are they dead in heaven or they are around us? I did not say nothing for now. We still have series going on. So don't take nothing and put it as solid. You might be shocked. I just want to show you something here. <laughs> Should I repeat it because I don't want you to miss it? We also are canvassed about, also. The way to also get God has to go back to 11 to see who else is around us. And Mangre, Gesu Balande, Skiva Ankra Dagusius. I don't know whether they are getting it. 
They are getting it. Debbie Brito on YouTube is saying, Amen, I'm getting this revelation so I can see my tomorrow and change things before I am in my tomorrow. So I'm victorious today for my tomorrow. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I don't know if they're getting this. Yes. I don't know if they're getting it. Talent is also saying thank you so, so much. So far, I'm not convinced by the, by, the, by, by, the, by the comments that they are being read. <laughs> I'm not convinced they get it. I'm saying this is too much for the human mind to handle. This is strong meat. I'm trying my best to chew, but it's not really working. So he's not yet. Let me explain it. to you something. The reason why this will be difficult to explain or to understand is because you have chosen not to understand it. Because right. yes. I just read it. Right. Hebrews 12 is telling you there is somebody around us, yeah. not us in heaven, the ones who are around us now. Mm -hmm. Then he says, but they are also. So we have to go back to 11 and see who else is there. Mm. It's also here. Since the also means there are another, there's another group that we just finished discussing. Now, if he says it's around us, why do you want to put them somewhere else? They're around us. Mm. 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 What is heaven anyway is another question. Is heaven a, a location or it's in the spiritual realm? Listen, heaven is the throne room of God, the place where God stays. Now, okay. now. Then he tells us that we shall have mansions, but the mansions are not physical as you would think, or houses as you would think. If you want to understand better, you understand when you're talking about the mansions of heaven, it's on YouTube, you can get it. <laughs> then after it has told you that, it now tells you that there is something around us, and we have come unto Mount Zion. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know if they're getting it. Mm -hmm. If we are come unto Mount Zion, mm -hmm. then we have a problem. Okay? All right? I don't know if they're getting this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amy's saying, wow, I have all I'm these people around me. I'm trying to get some people who are getting it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Bongi uh, Ramawe is saying, uh, Prophet, please just go slowly. I'm still writing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you are. Um, are you getting it, son? Yes, sir. Can you explain what we are saying? Thank you, sir. Let's go. Just, yes. just from what you have explained to us right now, mm -hmm. uh, we're told in the book of Hebrews mm -hmm. that all those that died in faith and did valiant and mighty works, mm -hmm. uh, the Bible says, they are around they're us. around us. And then also we have another cloud of witnesses. That is around us. That is around us. With us. The word around us, we read it. Yes, sir. Perike mai. What does it mean? Does it mean it's from another distance? No. no. Right, right about, about you. Yeah. So the reason why it's difficult to, to understand mm. is because preachers are afraid to say it. Because if they say it, mm. it means they believe the dead are still here. Yes, Prophet, people are I getting it. I want to wait a little bit right there. <laughs> Prof, people are getting it. Uh, Abila <laughs> Nassungram is saying, wow, 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 this is too much. We sometimes say um, why this person died. All of you guys, I know one thing you have in common. Mm -hmm. You have had a dream of your loved one. Yeah, true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And very few of you, some, 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 some of you have actually seen the dead person. And wondered, what is it? Is this a demon or what? Mm -hmm. And the preachers have relegated everyone mm -hmm. to demonic. Yeah, if that was a demon because he was dead before, tell me, was Moses on that transfiguration day a ghost? Mm -hmm. That's deep. Come on now. To the extent Peter said, let's build houses for this. Moses and Elijah are there. Let's build houses for... You see, Elijah, you might say, he, he never died. But Moses, the Bible tells us he died. And Moses was, de was dead, died, and was buried. Go unto Mount Nebo, Moses, and do what say? And die, the book of Deuteronomy. So we know definitely he went to die. So if Moses died, he got into the promised land. Because he was promised by God, he will land in his flesh. Amen. And they landed on Mount Transfiguration to the extent that Peter saw the physicality of Moses and said, we're about to build a shelter. Let's build a shelter. You need a shelter because you're physical. Mm -hmm. Was that a ghost? 
Why is that not a ghost? When others are ghosts, when your angle comes in a dream, he's a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> but Moses is not a ghost. Why is it that when the witch of Endor faced Samuel, Kibagan Grain, Enkre Vanonzia, Kali Gatus, Kira Dak to Onkra de Bia, Kasus, yes. Mande Kira Dakira, Manto Vronde Gela Gangra Satufia Tekosia, Kolka. 1 Samuel 28, 1 Samuel 28. Yeah. And I want you to read from verse number 1 because I don't want uh, somebody to say, hey, what, they left out something. They... Verse number 1. And remember, we are just dealing with first part of it. We haven't even dealt with uh, yeah. the bones and the minuses in the message. You will see verses that contradict what I'm saying in a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. yeah. Verse number 1. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass in uh -huh. those days... Let's and, quickly do this. And the Phil that the Philistines gathered their armies together for warfare mm -hmm. to fight with Israel. Yeah. And a key said unto David, Know thou assuredly that thou shalt go with me to battle, mm. thou and thy men. And David said to Akish, Surely that thou shalt know what thy servant can do. And Akish said to David, Therefore I will make thee keeper of now, my Now, verse number four. Let's forever. go. Verse four. And the Philistines, and the Philistines right? Yes, sir. All right, verse number three, we can say, Now Samuel the prophet was dead, and all Israel had lamented for him mm -hmm. and buried him in Ramah. Mm -hmm. Even in his Even own, in city. own city. And, so and when we went to away. Israel, we went to the grave of Samuel. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it put away those that had familiar spirits and the wizards out of the So Saul had said, kill everyone who is a witch. Anybody who can consult the dead, kill them. <laughs> hey, I'm about to say some. Come on. Come on. Anyone who consult the dead, kill them. And the servants killed everyone except an expert witch. <laughs> because they knew if we kill anyone here, we will not have anyone to consult from ourselves. Ah. So they went and carried out everything except one. <laughs> Imagine when you have killed and obeyed God, you kill all the witches, and then God takes the prophet. And you realize, wait a minute, I have no way to consult. If I had only left one witch at least. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Yes, sir. Verse number four. And the Philistines gathered themselves together. And came and pitched. Afraid. Have you ever wondered if the dead are among us? Have you ever wondered if they can see or hear us? Have you ever wondered if they could be conversed with? Ask no more. This Sunday, Prophet Hubert Angel will answer that and more in part one of the most riveting series of the year, The Walking Dead, live from 11. I remember some time back when Pastor Chris prayed. Simple prayer. The revelation of the word will increase. The Lord granting you a greater understanding of his word. A greater level of wisdom. That which you have desired. Give me your hand. That from this day, that grace. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Are, are, are people back with us? Yes, Let's see what is happening. Uh huh. Read. Verse number five. Mm -hmm. And when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, he was afraid mm -hmm. and his heart greatly trembled. Mm -hmm. Verse six. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, 
the Lord answered him not, neither by dreams, nor by Urim, nor by prophets. Mm -hmm. Urim and Turim was those, those breastplates, you know, the breastplates of the priest. They had uh, stones on there, and the stones would light up. It was some kind of uh, technological contraption. The stones would light up and speak, and the priest would tell you what the Lord was saying. So people, when they hear about the stones and they think they were just stones to decorate, no, they would speak to the, pro, to the, to the priests. Wow. Now, nah, because the Lord at that time only visited the priest, the prophet, and the king. That's it. The Holy Spirit was only with three types of people. Are you hearing me? Yes. All right. Let's go. Verse 7. Then mm. Saul said unto his servants, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that mm -hmm. I may go to her and inquire of her. Mm -hmm. And the servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit. There is one which we left out. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> right now, right there, Saul should have said, I'm killing you boys. Yeah. You left a witch. I told you to wipe all the... He said, yeah. thank you for not obeying everything I said. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. And Saul disguised himself mm -hmm. and put on other raiment. And he went and two men with him. And they came to the woman by night, mm -hmm. and he said, I pray thee, divine unto me by the familiar spirit, and bring him up whom I shall name unto thee. Mm -hmm. And the woman said unto verse. him, verse number nine, mm -hmm. and the woman said unto him, behold, thou knowest what Saul hath done. How so the woman is talking to Saul without knowing this is Saul. Yes, sir. Because he had disguised himself. Watch this. Let's go. How he had cut mm -hmm. off those that are familiar spirits uh -huh. and wizards uh -huh. out of the land. Mm. Wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life mm. to cause me to die? Yes. Verse 10. And so swore to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing. Amen. Amen. Now watch this. Mm -hmm. Watch this now. Watch this. We have a problem where we have... A witch. Right. And a witch is to speak. And this man is saying, I will call any man I want from the dead. Okay, okay, okay. Now, before we, we proceed, because I don't want to mess up anybody here. Uh, before we proceed, I want you to do something for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, Isaiah 8, 19 and 20. Don't leave the verse I gave you. Don't leave the verse he's reading. Just let him read Isaiah. Okay. All right? Isaiah 8, verse Isaiah 19. Isaiah 8 from verse 19. Watch this now. And when they shall say unto you, seek unto them that are familiar spirits. The, and those unto, with the familiar spirits, seek unto them. Uh -huh. And unto wizards that peep. Mm. And that matter, mm. should not a people seek unto their God? Shouldn't you seek from the Lord rather than from these people? Let's go next verse. For the living to the dead. Huh? For the living to the dead. Now, go, go back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. From verse number 19. Mm -hmm. And when they shall say unto you, seek unto them that are familiar spirits, mm -hmm. and unto wizards that peep, and that matter, should not a people seek unto their God mm. for the living to the dead. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word. In other words, what he is saying is, don't even inquire from the people who speak from the dead mm -hmm. to give information to the living. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 yes, no, no. Sir. In other words, if you read it carefully, it simply says, don't consult familiar spirits. Right. Don't consult all these voodoo priests. Mm -hmm. And don't consult those who have an ability to consult the dead. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Now, if the Bible tells you do not steal, it means you're an expert. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it has to explain to me what stealing is. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. You know what Jesus said to his disciples? He said, don't bring gold or silver when we go to minister. Do you know that's a stupid statement? Because you can't tell poor people to bring what they don't have. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, all those who are watching me right now, at the end of this service, please, just give 200 or 100 or 1,000. Don't give 2 million. You'll be looking at me like, who is he talking to? <laughs> we already know we don't have it. Now, if God comes and says to you, <laughs> don't consult the dead, that means the dead can talk. Yeah, 
So what you are refusing is for us to go literally to a dead person and consult. But you're not telling us that the dead are not there. Mm -hmm. You are simply telling us what is offside mm -hmm. is trying to seek the dead in order for them to speak to us. That's right. Okay. Wow. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. 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 I know you're still kind of figuring out this whole thing. Every one of you has a dead relative. Mm -hmm. Mother, father, uncle, cousin. And you're wondering, where did they go? Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the pain, you can't hide it. Mm -hmm. And the preacher tells you, it's okay, they're in heaven. <laughs> but he forgot one thing, where you are. Let's read Samuel. We're going to go yes, to where we are in a few Verse minutes. Verse 11, 1 Samuel 28, 11. Mm -hmm. Then said the woman, whom shall I bring up unto thee? Now, who, who should I bring unto thee? The woman is expecting to bring out a demon to pretend to be a dead person. That's what these Satanists do. They never give you the real deal, the person that died. They give you a demon and the demon pretends to be your angle because the demon knows exactly what your angle used to be like. So when you go to consult familiar spirits, what you are speaking to is a demon. They are called familiar spirits. They are familiar with your angle. <laughs> they are familiar with your cousin. They are familiar with your mother who died. Ah, demons have been there for years, years and years and years and years. They even know your great, 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 great grandfather and his great, great, grandfather. They know him. They know everything that happened in the family. Now they start telling you, yes, uh, in the bedroom, there is something like this. What, how do you know? They were there with him. And when, they, when he died, they lost their job, employment. So he says, don't consult that. Mm -hmm. So the, the widow, the witch at mm -hmm. is trying now to conjure some spirit to come and pretend to be Samuel. So that it would speak to Saul, mm -hmm. lie to him or say whatever he needs to say. Mm -hmm. Look what happened. Yes, sir. And he said, bring me up Samuel. Ha. Huh. The man said, I need Samuel who died. Verse 12. It is possible to bring him back. Mm -hmm. Verse 12. But the witch now mm -hmm. knows exactly that this is difficult. Mm -hmm. All I can do is bring some demons mm -hmm. to pretend. Come on. All right. Verse 12. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And when the woman saw Samuel, uh -huh. she cried with a loud no, voice. No, 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 no. Didn't see a demon. God sent real Samuel. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I'm talking about the dead guy came back. The walking dead walked. Wow. Come on, Major. Did the walking walk? Did the walking dead walk? He was walking alive. And the witch, what happened with the witch? Now, let's, he, he, she was used to it, so she, she And when be, the woman uh, saw Samuel, she cried with a loud she voice. She realized, oh my God, this is not a demon that came out. <laughs> it's a real Samuel. Oh, the yeah. dead can be here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. This wasn't even a vision. Mm. Oh. This is not an apparition. Oh. This is a real dead person walking. Somebody is arguing with me right now, and I'm giving scriptures. <laughs> <laughs> they say, oh, that one was a special occasion. Okay. <laughs> so I'm preaching about special occasion too. <laughs> Some people be like, it's a special occasion. This is a special occasion. Let's go. And the woman and spake to And this is just the introduction. <laughs> uh -huh. And the woman spake to Saul, saying, why hast thou deceived me? For thou art so. Now do you look? The woman said, wait a minute. It was supposed to be a demon. Yeah. Now real Samuel came. That means this man is not the real thing. He's some, his soul. Samuel. Let's go. Yes, sir. Verse 13. Mm. And the king said unto her, be not afraid. For what sowest thou? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw God's ascending out of the earth. Ooh. Did you notice? They were not in heaven yet at that time. Mm. On earth. Ooh said, I saw God. 
Even Samuel in the Old Testament is called a God according to Psalm. The book of Psalms says, uh, <laughs> I called him gods to whom the scriptures came through. But you shall die like me, amen. Ye are gods, but you will die like me, amen. He says, I saw gods coming out of the ground. He came out of the ground, dead, resurrected out of the ground. And he said, boom, here I am, Samuel, a dead guy. What did he say? Watch what he said. Verse 14. Mm -hmm. And he said unto her, what form is he of? And she said, an old man cometh up mm. and is covered with a mantle. And so perceived that it was Samuel. Mm. And stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. Verse 15. Mm. And Samuel said to Saul. Hear this. Why hast thou disquieted me says, you to me. bring me up? You disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> I was busy with my stuff. Yes. <laughs> and you disturbed me to bring me here. <laughs> it was a disturbance to come to earth. <laughs> Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Brothers and sisters, you are being disturbed here. <laughs> hey. The earth is a disturbance. I think we should end here. I'm telling you, we should just end here and go home, okay? <laughs> I forgot you are on lockdown, you're home. <laughs> Now watch this. Mm -hmm. Says immediately said, wait a minute, you have disturbed me. Mm -hmm. Just right there we can have a sermon. The earth is a disturbance. Hey. There is a place somewhere hey. in the realm of the spirit hey. where it's not a disturbance. Hey. Ah. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> hey. Brother Branham saw this earth when it was taken to heaven. Guess what the Bible says? It says he looked at the earth and it looked like a carcass, a dead animal. And the Lord said, go back. He said, ah, I need to stay here. He said, go back. He said, this, it looked like a carcass, a dead animal, stinking. If you've ever watched movies, I uh, like sci-fi movies sometimes, sometimes when they are intelligent, when they can cause me to think and they've got all this... Uh, scientific theories that are real and they try to bend them and do that. I like that. You know, this, this, this ugly alien, ugly, you know aliens are ugly. Right. It got to enter into a body of a dead person and he was saying, this smells. If you've ever watched again, uh, uh, um, uh, Matrix, mm. where this guy was looking at the, he was saying, it smells. Mm. Like that, the flesh smells. The look of the alien is ugly. But she got into a, he got into a better body and called it smelly. Since it's boring to be here. <laughs> Just imagine. Oh. Says, while we are in this earthly tent, we shall remove this earthly tent and take on incorruption. In other words, this is corrupt. Says, why did you disturb me? Read it. Read, read on. Read on. And so answered, I'm so distressed for the Philistines make war against me. Are they me. getting it? Are they really getting yes. it, these people now? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And God is departed from me and answereth me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Mm -hmm. Therefore I have called thee that thou mayest make known unto me what I shall do. Mm. Verse 16. Then, Samuel, then said Samuel, Wherefore then thou, thou ask of me, seeing the Lord is departed from thee and is become thine Sir, enemy. You, you should even be asking me. Because you asking me when the Lord is already left, I can't give you advice apart from the Lord. Yep. Did you notice that connection? He is telling us, if ever there is a vision or a dream that looks like somebody you know, a man of God you know that might have departed, that person has to line up with scripture. Right. Oh, you didn't hear that now. There are so many people that can tell you they had a vision of Paul. They had a vision of Moses. My wife is one. Moses. So many people. I've seen the likes of Kenneth Hagin. William Marion Branham. Maria Hoodwet Etta. We go swath. In visions. Whether in the flesh or in the spirit, I will not say. Now, if I manage to see these, 
and they come in and tell you something contrary to the word, definitely it's not the word. The men refuse that if the Lord ref- ran away from you, what am I giving you? Wow. You're, you're not getting me now. You're not getting me. In fact, let's we'll deal with it another week and we continue with that. Let's go to Hebrews 12, verse number 21. Hebrews 12, verse number 21. Some people are getting it. Some people are getting it. Some people are still not getting it. Mm-hmm. Verse 21. And so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. So terrible mm-hmm. was the sight. Was the sight. That Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. Mm-hmm. But I want you to, before we go there, we want to kind of uh, get a pretext of that. Mm-hmm. So just maybe 17 and, and we yes, sir, flow. Verse 17. Mm-hmm. For you know that afterward, mm-hmm. when he would have inherited the blessing, mm-hmm. he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, yes. though he sought it carefully with tears. Let's go. Verse 18. Mm. For ye are not come unto the mount that might be touched, that, mm-hmm. you that are not burned come. with fire. Yes. No, no unto blackness and darkness and tempest. This is not where you are now. Mm-hmm. In this flesh we are in. In this tabernacle. Mm. Hey, yeah, you are not getting me. In this tabernacle. It says it's not like the place where Moses was. Mm-hmm. Where animals would approach uh, the, the, the mountain of God and it would be stoned. Darkness and fish where you can't see God clearly. It says, no, this is not where you are. <sighs> if they use the time to get to the mountain of God or Mount Sinai, that was the holiest place. Right now, Mount Sinai is in Saudi Arabia. And I know a lot of people visit the wrong one. Why? Because the Bible says it's Mount Sinai in Saudi Arabia. It's written just right there in the Bible in plain sight. You don't need to argue whether it's this side or this side. Just go to Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia, it's called Mount Musa. And that's why uh, tour guides are taking you to a different location. Why? Because they want to make money. Why are they making money that way? Because they can't go to Saudi Arabia. The enemy of Israel has the holiest site of Israel. Hey. Can't do that. Nobody's allowing. In, it's now a military zone now. They fence the whole thing with cameras everywhere and guards with guns. Mm. To this day, there is even the stone where the stone was actually, where God c- came and landed, arrived when he arrived and landed and bent the whole mountain, the stone. The stone even cracked. And even has the blackness of heat to this day. It's still there. Wow. Yes. When Moses hit the rock and it split in half and water came out, that rock is still there split in half. Not only that, even when the water kind of, you know, gathered, yeah. it still looks like a, an eroded area. It was a gush to the extent that to this day is still pronounced. Not only that, the stones that were on the side of Mount Sinai to say if anybody passes this as a boundary, should be stoned or should die, are still there. Mount Musa. Now the Bible says, I know you'd have wanted to visit that (laughs) and meet with God on his mountain. But guess what? Let's go. Verse 19. So whatever we are going to be told now is better than being on that mountain. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And the sound of a trumpet Mm -hmm. and the voice of words, which voice they they that had entreated that the word should not be spoken unto them anymore. Mm -hmm. Verse 20. For they could not endure that which was commanded. Mm -hmm. And if so much as a beast touch the mountain, it shall be stoned or thrust through with a dart. Mm -hmm. Verse 21. So terrible was the sight that Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. Even Moses said, I quake. <laughs> the one who represented God said, I, I, bless the, I fear it. The, the, the men said, I fear it. Let's go. Verse 22. Mm. But ye are come unto Mount Zion. But you, uh-huh. you are not on that mountain. Mm. That mountain was fierce, terrible, mm. and very powerful. It would kill things. But you, you've come to a more powerful one. Mm. We are come away. Unto Mount Now, Zion. son, I want to ask you something, all right? Yes, sir. If he says we are come, is it like we have arrived or we just a uh, talk? We're already there. We're already there. How come we don't feel it? <laughs> Our carnality and the physicality of this earth, this eon, this world, when we touch it and bring it together, that makes it difficult for us to appreciate that we are more spiritual than natural. But according to God, we are not here. Mm. Wow. Hallelujah. We are come unto Mount Zion. Amen. Hey. Oh, hey, hey, hey. 
Have you ever heard something? Uh, I was teaching my people on the prophetic in another way. Have you ever seen something called a deja vu? Yes, sir. Okay. A deja vu is simply two parallels intersecting. Spiritually, deja vu simply means this. You are in here and you, you, a person just stands there or something moves. You're like, but I've seen this before, yeah. but I don't know where. You can't even put it together like where exactly, where is the real location I, see this, I saw this happen. I don't know where. It's two worlds intersecting. It is at that time where your spirit, and normally it happens when you're kind of on a daydream kind of moment. It doesn't just happen while, like you're talking something and that, no. Sometimes you just go like split, split second, two seconds, three seconds, boom. You're lost and boom, it happens. Why? At that time, that's where your spirit is at the heightened level. Where it can appreciate where you really are. Hey. No, no, no. Hit it. That's another story for the prophetic school how to really engage your spirit to get to that heightened state. That's what we're doing with the, with the new class that's coming. Mm. Now, now, understand. So when people say deja vu, hey, deja, they don't know you are being shown. There is another world that is in you, that is intersected, that is just intersected with the one you call a natural realm. Mm. This natural realm, this natural realm, is inside the spiritual realm. It's a real estate, a location, an estate in the spiritual realm. That's so why God created the earth and put it there and said, stay there. And the Bible says, the word of God made it to stay. Mm. So if it is the word of God that makes it to stay, and Job is asked, were you there when I put the pillars of the earth? He's simply saying, my word was the pillar. Wow. So if the pillars are his word and his word is spirit and God is spirit, that means the world is sustained by the spiritual realm. That means all around the world is a spiritual realm. Wow. So the world... Is inside the spiritual realm. Wow. The Milky Way inside the spiritual realm. Amen. The galaxies inside the spiritual realm. Mm. Some people are getting it, some people are not getting it. I don't know if they're getting this. Sir. Let's read. But we, Verse 20, but listen ye. carefully now because I don't want you to miss it. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 12, what? Verse 22. Hebrews 12, verse 22. 22. Mm -hmm. mm. But ye are come unto Mount Zion. And unto the city of the living God, the heavenly but here Jerusalem, what? ye are come unto ye are come. Mount Zion. Yes, sir. Now, now, I want you to see here. But ye mm -hmm. are come. Mm -hmm. The word come there is the word perozokomai. Mm. It means to ascend to, okay. to have arrived, to stand on top of the summit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's not like somebody who is like, I'm about to go. We are marching to Zion. <laughs> marching. <laughs> some, some are still marching to Zion. Hey. No, we are coming to Mount Zion. Yes. Hey. Yes. It, it doesn't. Yes. It's not saying we are on our way to Mount Zion. No. We are come. Oh, yes. We have arrived. Yes. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are come to come the unto. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. Mm -hmm. We have approached, ascended to. I don't know if you're getting it. Yes, sir. Perezokomai. We have ascended to. We have come. We are standing on top of it. It's like we are here in town looking at the cities, watching around. So we know we are there, right? Yes, Watch this now. Let's go so that you know where the dead are. And unto the city of the living God. Now, now, now. People don't know. Where are we seated right now? We are seated far above yeah. principalities and powers. Far above. If we are far above, where are we? In the right hand of the Father. Yes, the place of power. But in a reality that is spiritual and also physical, although you don't get it, the reason why we can pray for miracles to take place and they happen, the reason why we can declare things and they take place is because our flesh is in both realms. So we can exert our spiritual prowess over our natural. Wow. That's why it's called the supernatural. Putting the super on the natural. Oh, come on, come on. Are you getting this now? Yes, Some people are getting it. We are coming to Mount Zion. Uh-huh. The heavenly Jerusalem. Okay, so we're in heavenly Jerusalem right now. Yes, sir. When? When are we going to be there? Now. Right now. Now, right? Now. As he is, so are we. we. So we are coming to Mount Zion. Uh-huh. 
and to an innumerable company of angels. They're saying angels are here too. How many agree angels are here? So we are surrounded by angels. We agree with that. <laughs> yes, sir. That part we agree. Yeah. All right, yeah? Verse 23. Mm -hmm. To the general assembly and church of the firstborn. So we are in the general assembly too. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes, of the church. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Which are written in heaven. Mm -hmm. And to God the judge of all. Now notice this. Is, is they are written in heaven. That means we are not in heaven. Mm. Okay. <laughs> in the sense of heaven. Come on now. <laughs> Says the names are written in heaven, but we are on Mount Zion, the heavenly Jerusalem, mm -hmm. a type of Jerusalem. Oh. Ah. Yes, Abraham was looking for a city where? Mm. Wow. Which was not built by hands. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Yes, sir. And to the spirits of just men made perfect. Now go back. I don't want to have problems with people. Okay. <laughs> Verse 23. Yes, yeah. To the general assembly. So we're in a general. No, 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 no. Read the whole thing. Okay. Uh, so from verse number 22. Mm -hmm. But ye are come unto, unto Mount Zion. Zion. So we're in Mount Zion. Number one, we're in Mount Zion. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. And unto the city of the living we God. Are, uh, we are, this is the city of the living God. Yes. Mm -hmm. sir. This is the same thing. One. The heavenly Jerusalem. The heavenly Jerusalem. Three. And to an innumerable company so of what angels. So people, what, what, what are these things that are around us? Angels. No, angels around us. So we believe angels around us. Mm -hmm. And that scripture is telling you angels around us. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Verse 23. To mm. the general assembly and church of the firstborn. So everyone who is a Christian, we are around them. We are connected. Mm -hmm. Which mm -hmm. are written in heaven. And they are written in heaven, not here. Yeah. And to God, the judge. So we are, we are with God. Yes, sir. Are you, are you really wow. reasoning? Yeah. We have angels around us. Mm -hmm. We are with God. We have a general assembly of every Christian connected. We are one body. That's what it's talking about. Mm -hmm. What else are we around? Mm -hmm. And to the spirits the, of just men. To the spirits made of perfect. righteous men made perfect. That's around us. We are there with them. Wow. 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 And the Bible tells us, witnesses. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I have no... I'm trying to get if our people are getting it. That's what I'm trying to get. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I don't know if they're getting it. And, 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 and okay, now. Some people are saying, but, but the Bible says the dead have nothing to do with the living. Ecclesiastes 9, verse number 5. Quickly. Yes, sir. Verse number 5. Mm -hmm. For the living know that they shall die. No, start verse number 1. Verse number 1. For Watch this now. One. We want to deal with the verse that opposes what I just said. Okay. Mm -hmm. Verse number 1. For all this I considered in my heart, mm -hmm. even to declare all this. He said I considered in his heart. That's him talking. Yes, sir. That the righteous... And the wise and their works are in the land of God. No man knoweth either love Notice or hatred. Notice what he says. What is he talking about? He's talking about in the land of what? Mm. Read it again. Yes, sir. For all this I considered in my heart, even to declare all this, that the righteous and the wise and their works are in the land, in the hand of God. Mm. No man knoweth either love or hatred mm. by all that is before them. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Verse 2. All things come alike to all. Mm -hmm. There is one event to the righteous and to the so wicked. Is, when you are on this earth, there is only one event. Mm -hmm. To the, the good. dead, mm -hmm. the, the, the righteous and the sinners all have one event that will happen. Uh -huh. To the good and to the clean. Mm -hmm. To the unclean and to him that Whether you are bad or good, this is an event mm -hmm. that he said he considered. I did not say this is it. He considered it himself. Mm -hmm. And to him that sacrifices not. Yes, let's go. As is the good, so is the sinner. And read the verses. And this is, we're still on verse 2. Mm -hmm. and, and he that sweareth as he that feareth an oath. So it doesn't matter who it is. Mm -hmm. You have one event that will take place according to the guy. Yes, sir. Verse I did three. not say according to the revelation of the good news. Mm -hmm. I'm dealing with that. Verse 3. Mm -hmm. This is an evil among all things that are done under the sun. Mm -hmm. That there is one event unto all. Mm. Yea, also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil, mm. and madness is in their heart mm. while they live, and after that they go to the dead. So they will die. Yes, sir. That's what he's saying. 
rich, poor, broke, everybody has one event. They will die according to the scripture, that scripture. Listen, I did not say New Testament. I'm talking about this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse number four. Mm. For to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. Mm. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> Verse number five. For the living know that they shall die, mm. but the dead not, know not anything. I, neither have they any more a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Now, notice, this is the scripture that preachers tell you it's impossible to see the dead. No. This one. Mm. Because the dead know nothing. Look at the context. The guy is telling you, mm. on this earth, when we are looking at them, they have no occupation here in the natural to do anything here. Okay. They don't know anything here. No, 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 no. He is not saying those who are dead and are living in Christ can't see the earth. We have already been told by the Old New Testament that we have a great cloud of witnesses yeah. watching us from the grandstands. No, not just the grandstands. They are right about us. Yeah. We are coming to Mount Zion. We are in the spiritual realm. Come on. To the Christian, there is no distinction between the natural and the, Christian, the, the, the spiritual realm. There is no distinction. The way I walk here is the way I'm walking there. Oh. Says they are watching the race we are moving. Yeah. Everything we are doing is a race. On, Paul says, I'm running my race. Oh. Everything you are doing right now is a race. And there is somebody watching. The dead are watching. Yeah. Because they are not dead. I will show you in a few minutes. Wow. I will show you in a few minutes. You, do you know, do you know where Abraham is? He died, eh? Yes, sir. Isaac died. Jacob died. What did God do? Jesus said, God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God of ghosts, dead people. <laughs> Even God calls himself by the name of dead people. Do you think they are dead? No, he's not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. He knows they are not dead. It's only you who buried them. So their flesh died, and in your head, they also died. All right. Right now, some of you are thinking, I'm saying go and consult the dead. I've already read the scripture, don't. We'll deal with all these things as the chapters go. I'm like going like, yeah, I've heard now. That's, this is wonderful. I can, I, can, I can just call my grandmother now. <laughs> All right. Read, 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 read. Verse number five. Mm -hmm. For the living know that they shall die, mm -hmm. but the dead know not anything, neither if they any more a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Now, so they don't know nothing. Yes, sir. The memory of them is forgotten. Okay. What he is talking about is now the ones who are in earth, when they think of these people that are there, they have no feeling. They have no talking. They have no ability to reach them. That chapter is closed from the perspective of the earth. He is, did not go beyond death. He said the righteous and the, and the sinners go to one place. It's a lie. We know it's a lie. Some go to hell, some go to heaven. But he is not lying. Why? Because he's not dealing with the after death. He's simply talking about the grave. He didn't go beyond the grave. Ah. Who is speaking there? I don't know if you're getting the point. The man already knows what happens later on. Yes, sir. Are you getting it? Luke 16. Luke 16. And I want you to see something. 21. Luke 16, 21. Verse 21. Mm -hmm. And desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table, mm -hmm. moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. That's Lazarus, eh? Yes, sir. Lazarus was, was, was somebody who, was, who had leprosy and all wounds and all this dirty stuff. Mm -hmm. And he would just uh, sit outside the mansion of the rich man. Mm -hmm. And the rich man was all fed. Uh -huh. Verse 22. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass that the beggar died. Wait. Mm-hmm. And the beggar what? Died. Uh -huh. 
and was carried by the angels and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom into Abraham's bosom the rich man also died mm. and was buried wait a minute did you notice the difference Lazarus died and went to heaven was carried it's not like the angels arrived and like where is the body where is the body no they all went to the grave <laughs> but according to the translation of god this one is not dead he has been carried but this one is dead. But guess what? Keep reading and see. Yes, did, the, did the rich man get buried? Let's go. Quickly. Verse 23. Uh -huh. And in hell, he lift up his ah, eyes. Ah, where? I thought he was buried. <laughs> so the rich man is still alive. I don't know if you are looking at me nicely and seeing yeah, it correctly. Yeah, yeah. The rich man is still alive. But the Bible says he was buried. But unless for Lazarus was taken by angels. Mm. So there is two types of death we are looking at here. When a sinner dies, he's dead, yeah. even though he's in hell. Mm. When a Christian dies, he's alive. Hallelujah. Mm. <laughs> That's why when he was interpreting, Jesus was interpreting this thing. He said, our friend Lazarus, another Lazarus now, mm. not this one. <laughs> the man sleepeth. He said, what? You mean he sleep? He's sleeping? He said, yes, he's sleeping. Then he said, uh, for your own information, because you are, you are dumb. You can't hear me. Let me tell you what is happening. The guy is really uh, dead. Like your interpretation is death. But mine, when somebody is my believer, guess what? He's alive, just resting. That's why some of there back there said, you disturbed my sleep. Oh, I don't know if you are getting this. That means he was conscious that he was resting. It's only those on earth that thought, no, the guy is dead, gone. He doesn't think, he doesn't feel. He said, you disturbed me. If he could be disturbed by a witch calling him. Yeah. The reason he says, do not consult the dead is because the dead can be consulted. You're now being told it's illegal to do so. It's a sin to do so. That's what you're being told now. It's dangerous to do so. Why? Because a demon can masquerade and say, yeah, I'm your uncle. Yeah. <laughs> and say even in the voice of the uncle, tell you only secrets you know. There is no way he would know. And guess what? It's a demon. Let's go. Verse sure. 23. I'm about to finish, guys. I'm about to finish. Just part one, so I'm about to finish now. Mm -hmm. And in hell, he lift up his eyes, mm -hmm. being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, mm. and Lazarus in his bosom. Verse 24. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, mm. have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool so my he tongue. Could feel. So the guy could feel. And he could see Lazarus and be like, ah, that guy is there. Now the Bible told us, told us in the book of Ecclesiastes that the dead can't feel nothing. How come they feel now? How come they want water? They even have knowledge that if you have fire, you need water. <laughs> fire brigade tactics, they understand. Ladies and gentlemen, the dead among us. As long as you are a Christian, you have the spiritual around you. And if the dead are in the spiritual realm, you are intermingled with them. But what type of death are we talking about? The Bible says in Abraham's, Adam sinned, right? Mm -hmm. And God said, you shall surely die. Yeah. The guy went over 900, 900. Just imagine, over 800 years, the guy is still surviving. After being told you would die, what death was he talking about? Cessation of life? No, spirit. So there are a lot of dying. If, if you don't believe in Christ, you will perish. The perishing part of it is not the dying you are thinking of, yeah. of physical death. It's a spiritual death. Mm -hmm. But this beggar was taken mm -hmm. and was placed in heaven mm -hmm. when he died. Mm -hmm. But is that death? No. It's no longer cessation of life in the sense of cessation of life. This was cessation of life in the physical body. And then it resulted in life. The other ones are spiritual death. So there is spiritual death. Yeah. Then there is physical death. All right? Death is you are now corrupt, you are dead. Mm -hmm. All 
right? So a lot of people, when they see death, dead, death, death, in um, my message, uh, when I was dealing with the blood, I mentioned a lot of type of death that take place. I think about 11 of them that I mentioned, I listed. So you can understand there are different types of death. That when you read the Bible, you realize, oh, when a person is a sinner and the Bible says dead, it's not talking about the dead, 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 dead. Mm -hmm. It's already somewhere else. But if that location in hell is called death. That's why hell shall be taken and put in the lake of fire. And it's called the second death. Imagine the first death doesn't kill nobody. They're just in pain. The second death also kills nobody. It's pain. It's his death. So death is not, then it's the cessation of life. Then death is not really dying as we call it dying. It's still living in another realm. So there is pain level that is death. Hell is not eternal. It is temporary. Because the Bible says the hell itself shall be thrown into the lake of fire. <laughs> Even hell will suffer. Your time in hell is a temporary one. It will get to an end. But your pain will not because you are now getting into the angle of angles of fire. Which is called the lake of fire. Where hell itself that was tormenting you will be tormented itself. Hey. He will be crying on the side like this. Say, yeah, you used to torment us. It will be also crying. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to end here because nice. watch out for my book called I Went to Hell. Yeah. Very, very soon. Matthew 22. Matthew 22. I'm about to finish. Matthew 22. Matthew 22, 21. Let me just, you know, I, I want to kind of uh, try and help you because it's like, um, <laughs> are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Grace to heal, I sing. Prophet, this is enlightening. I'm getting this. We are spirits and we live among those who died in Christ. We are in two places at the same time. Two Thank places, you yes. Uh -huh. Let's hear this year, the people. Let's the progress hear. on Facebook is saying, Men of God, thank you so much for, for your ministry and everything that you're doing. And now I have an understanding from this message you are giving to me. I see everything clearly why Jesus was calling Lazarus as if he was not dead. Amen. Amen. 23, verse 23. Go to verse 23. Verse 23. And I'll read it anyway. The same day came to him, the Sadducees which say that there is no resurrection. And I asked him, saying, Master, Moses said if a man die having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. Now they were with us, seven brethren, and the first, when he had married a wife, deceased, and had no issue, left his wife unto his brother. Likewise, the second also, and the third, and unto the seventh. Mm -hmm. And the last of all women... The woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be? <laughs> of the seventh? Uh, for they all had her. <laughs> now, some people are like, what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to trick Jesus. Eh? Said, yeah, there is a woman. Moses told us, if a man dies without leaving a child, the brother should marry his wife. Yeah. Now, this one... Died, the first husband, with no child. Mm -hmm. And the woman was left a widow. Mm -hmm. And he had seven brothers. Mm -hmm. Now their second one took the, mm -hmm. the brother's wife. Mm -hmm. Still no. Mm -hmm. this, this event of cougars did not start now. <laughs> they didn't hear. Yeah. Because if, if the husband was 50, the wife should be, let's say, 45. Mm -hmm. And then the young brother will be 48. Then the third brother will be 42. The wife will be 45. Mm. Until the youngest brother will be 15. And the wife is still uh -huh, now 60. Cougars, cougar, cougar kingdom. <laughs> nah. Says, now who will marry this cougar? Ah. Asking Jesus. Some people are not getting it now. <laughs> and last of all, the women died also. Verse number 29. Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye, what, what did he say? You do err. 
uh -huh. not knowing the scriptures. You are erring, you have a mistake. Uh -huh. Not knowing the scriptures. Your problem is knowing the scriptures. Uh -huh. Let's you know go. The power of God. Mm. Verse 30, for in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, mm -hmm. but are as the angels of God in heaven. Okay. Verse 31. You think, why am I even opening this? Let's go. Mm. But it's touching the resurrection of the dead. No, no, no. The place where you touched, I know you don't believe in the resurrection. The part you, where you had a problem with. Mm. Let me deal with the part you are having a problem with. It's the resurrection. Mm -hmm. Have you not read that uh, which was uh, Jesus was something else. You. you said, have you not read? In other words, your problem is reading. Do you read? <laughs> Do you read anything? You have a problem of reading. <laughs> uh -huh. Have you not read that which was spoken unto you by God, saying, verse 32, mm -hmm. I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac and Have the God of Have you not Jacob. read what was spoken? He said what? I'm the God of what? I'm the God of Abraham mm -hmm. and the God of Isaac uh -huh. and the God of Jacob. Yes. God is not the God of the dead. He but is of telling the you Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are alive. We are coming to Mount Zion, brothers and sisters. To an innumerable number of angels, and no preacher argues with that part. Mm -hmm. To the church of the living God, no preacher argues with that part. Right. To the living God, no preacher argues with that part. The part that they skip is to the com compa you know, the, 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 the encompassing, the, the companionship, rather, the, the encompassing, the, the, the multitude of, of righteous men made perfect in their death. Says we are around them. I was in, in Ashton, underline, and our Alice was in Ashton, underline, where we used to live uh, you know, uh, for years. And when we were sitting there, uh, there is a park there, and I just drifted in the spirit wow. in the park. Wow. All these people are just moving around. Sometimes we just go there, we we'll move around and move around and move around, and drifted. And there's this, like, uh, a kind of a cement block made of kind of table and just chair, you know, that those blocks where you can just sit like that. And I began to see two people coming from there. And I see this man come, this man of God, come, man by the name Kennedy Hagen. That was way back. And they arrived there and sat there. This man is sitting there. And I'm thinking, this is brother, brother Kennedy Hagen. And this is after 2003, the man is dead. And a man stood there with him and just sit. He is sitting there, the man is standing there and looked into my eyes and opened the briefcase and opened them there. I looked inside and I saw the books of Brother Kenneth Hagin because we're reading Brother Kenneth Hagin for a long time, you know. Because Brother Kenneth Hagin was the one that we can say introduced to Pastor Chris, as to Pastor Chris, in the sense that his message when we heard it, it was the first time to hear any kind of message like that. That when we got to Pastor Chris, I don't even know who he was at that time. I'm watching this program, I'm looking at this man, and he's ministering the message that I considered, some part of it that I considered, this is almost like Kenneth Hagin, but more palatable. Mm -hmm. There was certain class to it. Mm -hmm. It looked like the same message, but certain class to it, certain level. I could appreciate it more. I'm not saying I didn't appreciate Kenneth Hagin. No way, no way. Mm -hmm. And he opened the briefcase and gave all the books out and said, these are now yours. Whoa. I'm like, you mean every book Brother Kenneth Hagin wrote is now mine? What you, like all of it? said, now you have this information. I said, what do you mean? And I'm just looking at him like that. And suddenly I see a bowel gathered there with a lot of fruits and people started running and I'm just thinking, this is a pack, people are just running around and doing this. But this is, this, this is Kenneth Hagin. And I said, do not eat what they eat. Don't touch what they eat. Don't corrupt yourself with what they take. And all this that was in this, that is in these books, will be yours. And from there, it's like I rose from a stupor and realized this just happened. But I'm alone. Imagine this is Kennedy Hagen. Most of you have heard me talk about a moment where I was taken to all these generals of God, for those who have not watched it, I will not mention the names. All these generals of God seated together like this, 
talking about their exploits on earth. And I'm sitting with them there, and I'm like eavesdropping. It's not like they were seeing me, or not one of them spoke to me. Like, hi, no. And I'm just sitting there like this. And I'm looking at this, and I'm like, oh, ma, ma, ma. I turned to the Lord, I said, I know who these are, guys are. I know them. He said, what would, who do you want to be like here? I said, huh? <laughs> I'm going to teach you some few things in the next few weeks. Well, if the Lord permits. We talk about demon possession, but have we ever spoken of spiritual possession? In the sense that John knew he was John. He was even asked, are you Elijah? What did he say? He said, no, I'm not. And yet Jesus said, that John you saw, inside is Elijah. Huh? Who was possessing John? And they were not demons. The men even refused that he was not Elijah. Yet the person who created him said, this John you saw. Elijah. Wearing the same things, eating the same thing. Locusts and honey. <laughs> same, same, same WhatsApp group. <laughs> and yet he didn't know he was Elijah. The one who created Elijah knows this is Elijah again. The disciples couldn't even tell this was Elijah. They said, but it is said that Elijah should come first. But now we are seeing him on the mountain say, I think there's something wrong in your interpretation of scripture. We are seeing Elijah on the mountain transfiguration. You have not shown us. Where is the other guy? What, what happened? What happened? Because scriptures say it should be Elijah first, then we see you. Now here we saw you before we saw Elijah. We just saw Elijah on the mountain. He said, uh, don't worry about this one. The one in John, you didn't recognize him. But I know who I put in there. <sighs> so the body was John's body. No, I don't want to disturb you. Let's, let's come back to this. Let's come back to this. We haven't even said anything. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What were we talking about? You say you are confusing me now. I don't know if you are getting this. <sighs> let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Eight, we mm -hmm. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seven? Mm -hmm. For they all had her. Mm -hmm. Verse 29. Then he mentioned God is not the God of what? Uh -huh, let's go, let's go. I just want to show you something yes. that has nothing to do with this, but you get it. Let's go, let's go. Verse 33. Mm -hmm. uh, and when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at his doctrine. Mm -hmm. Verse 34. They were right now, just like you are astonished at my doctrine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When Jesus tried to deal with the issue I'm dealing with right now, mm -hmm. people were astonished at his doctrine. They said, your kind of teaching is different. Mm -hmm. This is not, I, I, some were confused, just like some of you. Some preachers out there are calling me some all kind of names right now as I'm talking to you right now. Mm -hmm. Yet they did it to Jesus when he tried to tell them, Abraham, Jacob, Isaac, mm -hmm. not dead people. Mm -hmm. For God does not consider people dead. He's not the God of the dead. Mm -hmm. Oh, my wow. God. Wow. Oh, I wish I had people here. Wow. But when the Pharisees had heard, that he had put the Sadducees to silence. They were gathered together because they were not friends. Eh? They were not friends, you know? You know when you, you, an enemy of your enemy might be your friend for a short time. Mm -hmm. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him. You know what lawyers do? Tempting him, saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Verse 41. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, saying, What think ye Christ of Christ? Whose son is he? They said unto him, the son of David. He said unto them, how then does David in the spirit call him Lord? <laughs> Yet Jesus would even answer to the son of David. They would call him son of David and he would turn around and help them. It, just like we call him son of God right now. And he says, it's okay. It's all right. And he knows he's God. 
The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou on my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. If David then call him Lord, how is, his, how is Christ his son? And no man was able to answer him a word. Neither did any man from that day forth ask him any more questions. You know when somebody just gives you an answer to even the questions you never had, you realize you were going to have after a few years. You just leave him alone, isn't it? I saw some people who are opposing preachers now. And one person just answered them. Can you just say it to an imam? The things you say about Angel, the things you say about Chris Oyagilome, the things you say about Branham, the things you say about Kenneth Hagin, the things you say about Oyedepo, say it to an imam. Say it to one Muslim. You know why you say those things. You know we don't respond. <laughs> say it to one imam. Just go to a, to, to, don't sit there. Just go to a mosque and go, yes, Muhammad. This, this, say it nicely. <laughs> Ah. The reason is, you know, Christianity talks about love. So we have to keep quiet when you say whatever you say. But that time is over. Amen. Just imagine. Say it to an imam now. See a Muslim, they going like this. When I say nonsense about Muhammad right there, say, I don't believe Muhammad is this, Muhammad is fake right there. Let's just see. If your answer will come after his prayer, mm. or oh, you'll be a martyr. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Muslims don't play that game, eh? Uh, Muslims will show you immediately. <laughs> right on the spot, nicely. Mm-hmm. And they can go to jail anytime it's okay for them. Anyway, let's deal with it. Now, understand something. I want to go to verse chapter number 27. Go to chapter number 27. Chapter number 27. Mm. Go to verse, uh, Matthew 27. And I want you to go to... Whew. Mm, mm, mm. It's coming. Paradisum crinazandis. Paradoglen gratia pacto zia zedekino. Manda vetia zi. Tanagima and gradigiso. Verse number 50. Go 50. It's okay. Watch this now. I want you to see. I want you to see. If you're going to see it today, you will call them zombies. But here they are in the Bible. Let's read. Verse 50. Verse 50. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud this voice. This is Jesus on the cross. Now from the sixth hour, which is verse number 45. There was darkness all over the land in the ninth hour. And about ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabakatan. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Some of them that stood there, when they heard that said, the man calls for Elijah. And straight away, one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on the reed and gave him to drink. The rest said, let be. Let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. They knew he could. I did not say he was coming to save Jesus. I'm just telling you, the ability, the Jew knows the dead are not dead the way you think they are. Verse number 15. Verse 15. Remember, this is just part one. I've not told you anything except to tell you. What you are being told by people is not true. Verse 50. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. Yielded up the ghost. Uh-huh. Verse 51. Mm-hmm. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain mm-hmm. from top to bottom, mm-hmm. and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent. Verse 52. Now, verse 52, listen. Jesus is on the cross. He cried out with a loud voice and died. Mm-hmm. Gave up the ghost. Listen to verse 52. What happened? And the graves were opened. Uh uh-uh. uh. Mm. And many bodies of the saints which slept arose. The dead ones rose from the dead when Jesus died on the cross. Hey, come on. Hey, what is this? 
verse 53, and came out of and the graves. And came out of the graves after, after his, his resurrection. resurrection. And went into the holy city and appeared to many. They went to their places of interest. Nando's, all these other places. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody? Imagine, after he resurrected, they stayed in the grave like this. Knowing I'm alive. Something is off here. David is in the grave going like, what's happening here? What's taking place? Samuel is in the grave like, oh, oh, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. And the veil was torn in two. Do you know why the veil was torn in two? Because the veil prevented the people from accessing God. The Ark of the Covenant was behind the veil. That's why I like Phillips, Craig, and Dean. Said once there was a holy place. Evidence of God's embrace. I can almost see Messi's face pressed against the veil. Once his blood was sacrificed, Messi knew. Ha. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Says Messi came running like a prisoner set free, past all my failures, to the point of my needs. When all I could see was only my sin, Messi came running past my sin and embraced me. Messi knew if his blood is spilled, it was like God was inside like this, tending he came out, mounted off. Kayano Sika Blank to Xkayas. Mounted off the Ark of the Covenant, where he sat in the middle of the cherubims, and he mounted of the sort of him. He mounted out the, the, the two angels saying that, and he mounted off the the, the ark, and he grabbed the veil. Because says it was torn in two from top to bottom. So God was grabbing the veil like this. Boom. In two. And said, now it's open. You can access me anytime you like. No priest, no preacher, no, nobody can prevent you from getting through. Just imagine how God is. Say, Mahuri Kaya ready? Ah, are they getting it? So the dead resurrected and walked in the streets, walked the dead. Go to the book of Revelation. You will see that the two witnesses will die and resurrect in the, and walk with, in flesh. I'm not even talking about visions right now. I'm talking about the dead alive. And he said to me, what do you want from this that I hear? As I looked at the first man, I looked. These are my heroes of, in faith. I'm like, oh, I turned to the Lord. I said, I want all of them combined. He said, who do you want to be like? I said, all of them combined. Whoa. I don't want one. All of them combined plus me. <laughs> I'm also a force, eh? <laughs> you are a force where you are. Don't just look for angels' impartation. You as a you, 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 you are powerful, you. Amen. And he turned to me. He didn't say, I have given you all of it. No, he said, imagine yourself armed with a little prayer. Imagine yourself armed with a little prayer. But who was I seeing? Dead people. Just because they are generals, it doesn't mean to say they, they, it's okay. And your cousin from Tegwede, who was a Christian, very powerful, can't be seen. Because he has no, he has no English name. When they talk about generals, they never put a black man on it. Rather a person of color, they, know, they won't. Because they are concentrating on their own. So when somebody sees Kenneth Hagin, it's all right. When you see Branham in a vision, it's okay. See one black preacher. Hey, I guess you know, I break it. I, I lose, I bind it. <laughs> Where are they, these guys? They are right about you. Whoa. You are coming to Mount Zion. You are not on earth. The earth is just an estate in the spiritual realm. I wish I had people now. Hope they are getting it. Hope they are getting it. 1 Thessalonians 4.13, immediately. 1 Thessalonians 4.13, I want you to see something. 
Ah, uh, yeah, you, ya quiero, man, say. Then I ankra digi junta. Uh -huh. But I would not have you to be ignorant, I would not have you brethren, ignorant. Mm -hmm. concerning them which are asleep, mm. that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. Mm. Verse 14. Mm. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will bring God will God bring with him. I don't want you to cry as though with no. Mm -hmm, with no hope. Oh. What are you talking about? Seems as if you are saying there is no, there is a certain level of information you need to get right. about this dying thing mm -hmm. that people haven't revealed to you yet. That you think dying is some kind of complicated mm -hmm. issue where there is a blockage. There is no way to go there and nobody can see you here, nobody can see there. You are lying, lying, lying dog. It's not like that. Come on. There is a spiritual realm. It's in the mixed. The living in the spirit are still alive to see you. The living in the natural can also see the dead in the spirit. Maybe people don't get it. Here it is. Walked into our, into our house in National Underline way back. Uh, was number three high peak rod. I got in, in there with my wife. Got in the house. She gets in there. I'm in there talking about getting the prayer mantle. And I was praying about prayer mantle, prayer mantle, prayer mantle, prayer mantle. And she gets in the room and boom, instead of her, her it's Moses. Wow. The Moses, not the Apostle Moses. Wow. <laughs> if you know Apostle Moses, I don't know. I'm talking about Moses, Moses. Wow. And he's holding his stuff and he hands it to, to my wife and he says, wow. now you have the prayer mantle. Wow. And wow. just immediately in front of us, it's like the whole world opened. Wow. Like this is the globe. Wow. And he stood on top of the globe and said, pray. Wow. Wow. Now you tell me, are you hearing this? Wow. Hear you, sir. you tell me, if somebody can see Moses, mm -hmm. <laughs> Samuel could be seen. Mm -hmm. I've seen men of God that are, without permission, I can't tell you this, how they have spoken to Paul. Whoa. Met Paul, and Paul talked to them, discussed with them. You say, I'll give you some of my experiences. And then let me just tell you something like that. Um, my brother passed away way back. Uh, and he was in prayerful at that time. And, and, you know, and I'm taken by the Lord and said, come. I said, where am I going here? You know, he, you know you're not asking the Lord that question, you know. <laughs> the thing with, with visions, most of the times is Jesus never comes and tells you, uh, good afternoon, how are you? How are the kids? Yeah. Yeah, on your on your phone with somebody like, how are you? How is the weather there? Yeah. So ah, oh, it's good, it's good, good. Ah, it's, ah, it's cold, man. Do you work for the weather report? <laughs> it's just some nonsense. If I say it's cold, yeah. what do you what do you do? Yeah. Are you gonna make it warm? Yeah. No, it just talks. It's just a chat, small talk, small nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like yeah. So how are the kids? Yeah. Like I want to know. Yeah. I know your kids are rascals. <laughs> Why would I want to know about what? So, so it's an earthly kind of nonsense yeah. that takes place where people just ask, so hey, how is life? Yeah. Ah, it's good, 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 good. If you say I lost a job, it's ah, it's everywhere, it's everywhere, it's everywhere. <laughs> life is like that. No one is going to be like, yeah, I'm going to give you a job now. Yeah. Very few people. So why are you asking me? So Jesus will just get in. You know, when I say get in, I don't mean like walk in. He walks in, but he has always been there. God has never been anywhere he wasn't mm -hmm. before you got to the place he wasn't. No, no, you're not getting me. I said God has never been anywhere he wasn't before he got there. Mm -hmm. If God gets to, wants to come here now and arrives here, you realize he was here before he got here. Mm -hmm. Look at the man called John. What did the man called John do? The Bible says he got in the spirit. He got in the spirit. Do you understand this? He got in the spirit. When he got in the spirit, guess what happened? He heard a voice from behind him. It's like there is a door he was using, and he entered. As he just entered through the door of the spirit, he heard a voice as if he arrived the day before Jesus entered. Hey. You're not here. See, so they missed it. He was so potent with power that he was ahead of time, ahead of God entering. Notice here, there's a big difference between the presence of God and the person of God. Behold, if I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. It's not God who is there, it's his presence. 
His magnetic field, the magnet can be here, but there is a magnetic field around. So he is talking as if he entered and Jesus was wondering, how did you end up before me? There is a certain level like that. So I entered in the spirit and when I got in there and I, God said, come and see him. I said, who is he? Him? And there he was, my brother, who passed away. I said, Lord, the only thing I can tell you was comfortable is because God was there. And the Lord said, talk to him. I'm like, man, he said, look, why are my parents acting like I'm dead? Mention the time they were sitting around a fireplace at home. Where I wasn't, I was in UK. Said so they were sitting like this, sitting like this, discussing the day I died, whereas I didn't die. So confused that my parents consider him dead. And he's telling me he has the information that they were sitting there discussing his death. Came out of that vision, called them like uh, on Tuesday, were you? Said, yeah, we're on the fire. What, what is that? They didn't understand why I'm asking so simple stuff. I said, but you don't do this around the fire thing. You came from this location, went to this location, and this whole week you were not at home, but you sat around there, and what were you talking about when you were talking about my brother? He says, whoa, yeah, I was just talking about how you would do this, how you would do this. I said, yeah, how do you know this? I said, he spoke to me. Maybe some people don't get it. And one time I was taken to... Into, in, to heaven and in the vision whether in the flesh I cannot say <laughs> God knows and I got in there and the first person to cut the long story short the first person to run to me was my brother who passed away and I'm like I'm in heaven and this man is here and I would look to my left there is like houses in a in lines, you're talking about straight lines, build of light, shafts of light. You know when you talk about a corner of a building, an edge of a building, which is built with, of light. You know, material called light. Wow. You kind of understand it. And people are coming there and they're prostrating towards a certain big, like we're talking about light that can be liquid. You can see it oozing, light that breathes. And I'm looking at it and thinking, Whoo, what is happening? So I'll turn to the Lord and ask. Said, so this is where when the, everyone who arrives from earth, some of them come here and they stay here. He says, but what you see here is simply a picture of a reality. I'm saying, what, what, what do you mean? And they're like, said, what you see here doesn't mean say, this is it. It's just for you, your way of understanding it would be that. No, 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 they didn't get it. I they didn't get it. This is the reason why I started going deeper to say, are they mansions or the body is the mansion? This spiritual body will be given is a mansion. And then I read the scripture. You see, I read that scripture. The whole chapter is talking about your body. Then it talks about a mansion. Then the same mansion is the same word for body. Then you realize, okay, we shall be clothed with a new body and the new body will act like a mansion. So people are waiting for ABC houses and servios. Country and fine, fine and country <laughs> houses. That's what they were looking for. Hmm. So is it in your understanding of what's here, you will see this. That's your understanding. Here, these are houses to you. But we know exactly where you are. And I'm looking at that. And I see my brother run to me. And way back here, he had cancer of the leg when he passed away. Way back when I was a little bit younger. And, and he's, he quickly raised his robe and said, look at this. I don't even have any wound. And it looked like a model. Wow. You're talking about any kind of gymming you would ever do who will not get you there. You know, just, just nice, brilliant, brilliant body. You look at him and be like, yeah, even the best model will be like, wow. Yeah. And he says, um, everything is nice here. Look at this. There. Then he looked, you know, to cut the long story short, he looked back and he said, oh, I need to say to to." to to welcome our uncle, my mother's cousin brother. And I looked and I'm seeing my mother's cousin brother is arriving. So it's like this smoke that is there, like, you know, like white. It's a glowing smoke, kind of, you know. It's very difficult to describe things that, that you have no comparison here. And it opened up like this and you'd see something like a pearl inside it. 
huge. You're talking about something you can't even look to see the end of it. And this guy comes out. What? I'm like, that's my, that's my mother's brother. No, cousin brother. You know, in Africa, it's brother, brother. And I'm like, what? No. It can't be this because I know he's alive. So how is it? Did he die, Wallace? I mean, this vision, has he just died? So I kept on thinking, he's dead. Wallace, I was in that vision. I said, the guy is dead. The guy is really dead. Because there is no way, when I was in the world of the humans, he was alive. Now I'm in this now, wherever I was, whether in the flesh or in the spirit, I could tell the person who has just ended can't be here because he's alive. And he hugged him, they hugged him, and I'm just looking like this. And the Lord said, you will understand even further. These things that you're seeing, you will understand further. Wow. And I'm cutting the long story short, because it's in one of my books. You can get him in this the message. Came back to life, to this world. And the thing I did was to call my mother. Mm -hmm. um, did uh, our, our thing, uh, did our, your cousin die? He said, what do you mean? What are you talking about? I said, our, your cousin brother. He's like, no, I just came from the house now. He's there. I said, nah, I think I said, no, call, because I saw him dead. So I thought, you know, she came from there, and the person then died on a, yeah. Nope. The following day, I called again, still alive. She had twisted, and I said, no, why, what are you talking about? I said, I saw him meeting my brother who is dead in heaven. They welcomed it. The angels were with him in heaven. When I was having a visitation of heaven, he was there. Two days. The third day, that's when he died. But watch this. Heaven had already recorded him as dead. They were walking with a dead person on earth. Feeding him. Spending lunch, man, lunch money with him. And the guy is gone. This is why I say all these fight Christians do. For what? These pastors you are fighting, who told you they've not repented yesterday? Let's say what you are saying is correct, which is a lie anyway. But what, what if they repented two days ago? What if they repented last night? And you are still there judging them. What is this? Life is all about peace. Christianity is love. We can differ in doctrine. But never be vindictive. Now just imagine, people can die on this earth, be recorded in heaven as dead, and you still haven't repented. Where are you going to go with this? What is your life going to be? He that steals, steal no more. He that sins, sin no more. Why? Because there is this day that will come. But if people can die while we are with them, who is to say you are still alive? I didn't get it. Who is to say in the book of God you are not dead yet? Who is to say that? But there might be a chance somewhere. I don't know how. There might be a chance. I don't know why you are still here for the next two days, next two years, next 20 years. Why you're still here for the next 40 years. I don't know why. Maybe you are just being given an opportunity to repent and change your ways. Maybe. This is it. But you are still busy bickering. Christians fighting, planning for each other. And the most important thing is this, that we are only fighting because I'm saying my, your sin is greater than my sin. Mm. The dead don't die. Even the ones who sin will go to hell and they'll still be alive there. It's a different life, but you'll still be alive there. So what do we do now? If all these are alive, what do we do? Where do we go from here? Christ is coming very, very soon. Amen. And we are busy. It's like every moment, every minute, we waste on planning for this one. Planning again is this one. Sinning again is this one. Sinning again is this one. God does not care who wronged you. Say, how, how many times shall I forgive my brother? What did he say? 
Seven times what? Seven. 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 Times seven. Times seven. Times seven. What was he saying? Infinite. Get to a point immediately where you fix your life. Fix your life yourself, I fix mine. It's a whole lot of things. I have a message coming. Very, very soon you will know after this series. This series will go on for some time. Because right now I just gave you building blocks of the message. So you look at it and say, there. If this happens, when the dead can talk, where you can meet them. Oh, you say, but it's in a vision. I've shown you physical appearances. Visions happen. But what are you seeing in visions? Who are we on earth to God? We are past the tense. God has finished with this whole earth and is sitting there thinking, I know the end from the beginning and the beginning from the end. We are already God's past tense. Life is in blocks. Time is in blocks. The past block is still alive as it is. When God mixes it up together, that's when you see things that you've never seen in your life. Let me tell you something. There are things we are even afraid. Even I know afraid is a bad word for a Christian. But we are afraid to minister because you know you will never receive it. Even today, I withheld information. In this part one, I had to withhold it. Right now, I've got too many things to say, but I need to end here because if I continue, you will never understand it. I want you to be given a week where you go back and see things that oppose what I say, things that go for what I say. I gave you verses that oppose and this is verses that are for God is not God of the... Yeah, I gave you for and against. I gave you. So that you look at it and say, wait a minute. Something is off here. There is something beyond. Are you getting it now? Yes, sir. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Watch this. The Lord is mighty. Amen. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. But never make the mistake of consulting the dead. Or go into all these psychics and tell them, uh, bring my brother here. The witch of Endo saw dangerous stuff. The witch of Endo knew exactly that what will come is a demon. Same thing I told you. Don't go and pray, God, I want to see angels. No, no, no. You don't do that. Are you hearing me now? Yes, Are you getting me? Yes, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus. Increase over them right now in the name of Jesus. That their eyes open in the spiritual realm. But they will never be deceived by demons ever again in the name of Jesus. That demons will not do anything to them now. Or forever in the name of Jesus. And forever in the name of Jesus. That demons are prevented from deceiving them. That with all the spiritual realm that they have been able to open up to. Kelamon Gragis. In the name of Jesus, and only the things you allow be allowed in Jesus' name. See, the reason why God allowed me to give you this message and this series, The Walking Dead, is because he told me the things you have taught them are too deep. We dealt with the Nephilim, the Nicolaitans, perilous times, before Adam, the spiritual realm, the satanic world, angelic beings, we spoke about it. So God said, now, now the devil will be ready to deceive them. So minister to them that this can happen, but there are parameters that can guide them. So this series will continue, but there are parameters to this. So don't run and just go like, yeah, hey, I met my uncle yesterday. No, no, no. Notice every vision I received, the Lord was standing there taking me to the people. Even in heaven. Everyone who goes to heaven sees a dead relative. They don't see some people who are dying 20 years from now. Sees a dead relative. This was a something that took place where my uncle, I, I saw my, my, my mother's brother there. So just two days. Third day is gone. I can't even tell you the other generals I saw. I couldn't even tell you here. Why? Because I know we have not matured to that level. But one thing God said, he said, look, your people are now open to the spiritual realm. Now here we decree things here and angels appear in people's houses. Movements take place in there. Sometimes we say, take water, put it in front of you and look at it and put your hand on it and you open and the water is no longer there. 
sounds, tongues, choirs from heaven, singing in your own house. Remember the brother we had to come out of his house naked, running away when angels appeared. It was his first time, as I prayed here, first time, walked, ran out. And when he got out there, he realized, oh my God, luck, it was night. When he managed to get back, he said, say, I am outside. He said, I'm, I was outside. Yeah. I ran out. You remember that? Yeah. yeah. I was outside. Angels just appeared here. And I can't stand these, these things are scary. Just imagine. And we started saying, send pictures of things that they were seeing. People sending lights that appeared from nowhere. And people hearing sounds and worship. Listen to me. We are not alone. Never. We are not alone. The people that died in Christ are not dead. They are here. The ones who died following the devil, demons are manifesting, pretending to be them. So you never know which relative of yours went to hell. That's why it's so paramount that you become so careful with the issue of the dead. Thing in the dead, I hear for you to be given information. No, the Bible says we are led by the Spirit, not by the dead. We are led by the Spirit. Even Paul says, if an angel comes and preaches a different gospel to this one, let that angel be a cast. In other words, Paul says, if anybody preaches something contrary to the word, that thing is not from God. Even if it is proof that it came from God, it is no longer from God. I want to pray for you. As you give your seed right now and your offering on www.goodnewsworld.com, I want you to, to really, really get in a mode right now where you understand I'm sowing for my eyes to open for the word that will not lead me into deception, to be ministered to my spirit so that the thing that I need in this life will become easy to get. I pray for you that your eyes be manifested. And angelic beings come into a realm of understanding with you. You come into alignment with the things of God. That right now, every sin you have committed, I break that bond in the name of Jesus. That that time has come now. That a new move of the Spirit begins. That you move in the realm of the Spirit in a larger way, in a bigger way, in a more pronounced way in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree and declare now in the name of Jesus that as they give their seed, their offering, their tithe, their sacrifices right now, Father, open their eyes. Let no man ever deceive them. In the name of Jesus, no deception shall be with you. Raduki vanto kredagasia. That deeper truth that no man can agree with, as long as they are biblically sound, let them be imparted into your spirit right now in the name of Jesus. I speak now for increase. I speak now for longevity. I speak now for you to defeat all your enemies in the name of Jesus. Let them gather together, but they shall only gather in order to scatter. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Begin to give right now. Go right now and give. And we are still doing what we are doing around the world, giving to the poor, giving everywhere we are really 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 doing it and for those who uh check our our um, those who really deal with our our programs and they look at the programs and they look at the photos and the videos you see the work is still being done we have not stopped every week we are giving to the poor thousands and thousands of bags of millimeter and also uh other things that help in this covid era we know it's a COVID fiasco, but it's still affecting people. So we are still working on helping a lot of people. And you guys make it happen. You are because we are, and we are because you are. So we want to thank you so, so much to our partners around the world who are doing, making this work. Go to our website right now, www.goodnewsworld.com. Go sow your seed, a sacrificial seed. And don't let your seed go to the ground. Say what it is for you. Say your eyes open to see opportunities. Your eyes open to see the things that others are not seeing. You see, the difference between you and the rich man is information. 
Information is what makes them big. Listen, you might say, hmm, I never, but prophet, I know I'm sowing my seed, but I never, I've never seen 50,000 in my account. Yes, because God has never seen you with your 20 pounds doing something about it. So he knows if he gets it to you, he can't get it through you. No, he didn't get it now. If he gets 50,000 to you, he can't get it through you. But there are some people he has trusted that if he, I give this one 200, he will hand over 200 to me. So he gives you the ability. Remember, it is God that makes you to do what? That makes you to prosper. Gives you power to prosper. He doesn't give you the money, but power to prosper. Sometimes he does. But he gives you mainly his rule to give you power to prosper. So you've been given power to prosper. So you get the 20,000. So when you get the 20,000, God says, if I give this guy power, he will get 20,000. And my church will get something. But you have not been proven right. You have not proven yourself. So guess what? You will never see 10,000 in your account ever until you can be trusted in little things. How can I give you big things if you can't be trusted in little things? The word is clear. The word is clear. You really have to understand giving is supposed to be done. Because the word is alive and what he says, he will never break. He says, I will never alter or change the word that has gone out of my mouth. I will never alter. Listen to me. The walking dead, they are dead, but they are walking. They are alive and not dead. In your head, they are dead. But to God, they are still alive. And to them, they know they are alive. They are living. They are there. We are coming to Mount Zion, and that's where everything is, including God. Including the saints that died way back, they are still there. It says we are intermingled intermink, with them. They are there. We are there with them. So don't be afraid sometimes when you have a vision of Abraham. You know when somebody has a vision of Abraham, they don't really care, right? They're like, or you have a, a vision of Elijah, you're like, it's okay. It's Elijah. Hey, it says he was a man like us. He was a man of like passion, just like us. He could feel hunger, could feel cold. That's what the Bible says. Then it says, of all born of women, nobody's greater than John. And yet John, is greater than Elijah. Then he says, but the least in the kingdom is greater than John, who is greater than Elijah. So we are greater than Elijah. Are we greater than Peter? Yes. The Bible says it. It says, you believe now because you have seen. More blessed are they that shall believe without seeing. Peter saw it and believed. We didn't and we believed. We are greater Amen. and more blessed. So if somebody sees a dead Christian, who is a preacher, who is a man of God, who is just a Christian who was good, sees them in a vision. It doesn't mean say that's demons. Christians have a problem. They dream a snake. They see a snake in the dream. They don't wake up and say, oh, hallelujah. No, they'll be like, I bind that snake in the name of Jesus. Yet the Bible says Jesus is the snake in the wilderness that Moses raised. Why don't we go to that verse? We always go to the devil immediately. Because we are confused. Jesus created those creatures. We see an owl. My God. Witchcraft. Transport of the witch. Go by scripture. Go by scripture. All right? Go and give right now. Go and give right now. I'm waiting for... Most of you to give, and a lot of people are doing it right now. I can see yes. a lot of done, done, done. Isha uh -huh. has uh, just given. Priya has also done it. Uh, we have um, Gladi, who has also given. Moses has done it. Sarah Whippy has given. Uh, Busani has also given. Amen. And on mm. YouTube, Yasmin Wairumu offering done. Desire Ngube done. Uh, Favor done. Kaira done. Joseph, uh, Dan, so many people are doing it right now. Sam. People are giving right now. People are giving. And I'm excited that we have a lot of people that are just understanding the things that we are doing. All right? And I want every one of you to actually join Atomgram. It's important. There are now programs that we're just doing for Atomgram now. We're not going to anything. We're just going Atomgram, Atomgram. That's what we're doing right now. Just going Atomgram. Some secret programs we are doing that just for private consumption. Just our members 
only. It's very, very paramount that you be part and parcel of those broadcasts. They are happening randomly so that we feed you with information. And always understand, let this be your feeding trough. Don't be with everything. You know, everything. You are not a spiritual prostitute. Find a source where you get your information. Today this, tomorrow that, tomorrow this. Who are you? Are you United Nations of the Gospel? Yes. Ah. Spiritual Columbus. Hey. Traveling everywhere. Did you hear what they said? He, who, ah, ah. So, so what now? Hmm. Come on. Get to the point. This is what is important. All these people here, one day, all of you here would be dead. And what will come will be this. Not what somebody said. But uh, Lord, I was just deceived by someone. No. That person was able to deceive you because you had no word. If you have the word, nobody can deceive you. In fact, if you have the word, you won't be looking for anyone who is saying anything. You will be like, I'm just sticking to the word. That's it. It's time the body joins. Remember what the Bible talks about, told about, us about? That demons themselves don't fight. It says, if the devil fights the devil, how is his kingdom going to stand? If in the kingdom of the devil, it's straightforward. The demons don't fight. They even invite each other to, to, to possess a person. Cast out, bring seven more that are more powerful than, it's more, more powerful than, it will be like, mm, if I bring these big guys, they might call me, remove me. No, like, let's go, guys. You would even be able to protect our space there. And they get in there. And these are seven. In one league, on the way, how many? 6,000. Now, these ones are seven only. So imagine the space. They've learned inside. I'm telling you, these ones, they have farms and gardens and streets, even cars inside, honestly. Six. <laughs> the same body that can fit 6,000, they are now just eight. Ah. No, 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 no. So listen, I want to appreciate you watching us today. And I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for their offering, for their seed, for their giving, for their love, for what you have given upon our lives. And I want to thank you for the maturity that they possess to be able to chew up and break this controversial message. These revelations that are too hard for novices to get. Father, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that they be blessed beyond measure, that they be increased, that they guard their hearts in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Now, imagine what the Bible says. It says, guard your heart. From it are the issues of life. If the Bible says, guard your heart, yet, the, yet you are free to give it to anyone. Any little thing. You know what happened to me? What have you done? You're opening your heart to people that are affected. It says guard your heart because it's tender. Imagine even Jesus, when he comes to your heart, he knocks. Jesus himself knows he should have a key. And the Bible says guard it. From it are the issues of life. Guard from messages that can look nice but they're damaging. Rumor that can look sweet. The Bible says rumor looks like sweet muscle. Gossip is like sweet muscle. It's like a waffle that's so sweet. It's nice to consume. It says, but in the end, it will kill you. It will kill your spirit. I saw what's happening in Nigeria right now where a man is just talking anyhow about big people of God. Just anyhow, anything that comes out of his mouth. Nigeria. Just saying whatever. The Bible says, old people in the church, treat them as fathers. Old mother, women, as mothers, treat them as mothers. It didn't say, if they are so nice, if you agree with them, no. The age alone should be respected. That's it. The age should be respected. The church, if you are in my church, never be seen ever again opposing men of God. Even the ones who claim to be men of God and are not. Shut up. It's none of your business. Continue with what the Bible says. That's all you do. That's my advice.
you hell, you, you heap up for yourself cases that you don't need in your life. Oh, I don't believe, I don't agree with Adeboye. I don't agree with this one. I don't agree with this one. Who asked your opinion? Relax, guys. Let's work. I'm talking about my church here. I'm not talking about people who oppose men of God out there. My church, mine, don't get involved. Don't oppose nobody. Even the one who is pretending to be a man of God, don't oppose them. Even the ones who are opposing people, don't oppose them. Concentrate on the Bible. Stick to this. Don't even go for, oh, this one is opposing my, my father. I'm going to kill him. No. Forgive that one too. It says pray for those who are your enemies. Bless them. Imagine. It says bless them. Do you know how difficult it is when you start praying for your enemy and blessing them? Ah, you know you've matured. You know like a father in the name, I bless that enemy of mine. <laughs> ah, you don't need any, anyone to say you are mature now. You've matured. Thank you so much, guys, and I love you so much. And continue to watch out for part two of The Walking oh, yeah. Dead. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And we go to Pastor Savannah. What are we, what are we ministering? My miracle. My miracle. Yeah. And receive it today. I love you so much, and I am not out of good news. I'm just out of time. I believe in God because I believe in good news, and I believe in good news because I believe in God. BB and I love you so much. This is Hubert Angel signing out.
Spiritual Warfare by the best-selling author of Supernatural Power of the Believer, Hubert Angel. This book will show you how to enforce your God-given supernatural authority to neutralize demonic activity, how to overcome demonic strategies and deal with the devil. Get an expose of Satan's lies and trickery in this book. Spiritual Warfare by Hubert Angel. Available to order now at www.hubertangel.org. Supernatural Power of the Believer 